this is all side fishing adventures and we're off them rocks and way to see if we can find some big rod nice golden rod nice red fins so let's go we're halfway there already let's get on with the journey and hopefully catch a few fish Still pretty rough from yesterday. <laughs> Got back ache, legs ache, neck ache, headache. <laughs> All the normal stuff for sitting out on a windy day and doing long sessions every week. It's all part of the game. Hi, right, John, mate, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hi Benson, how you doing? Smelts, how you doing? No problem Benson, cheers for the thumbs up. Stephen, how you doing? How are you getting on with your driving lessons and stuff in John? Yeah, no problem. I'll see you when you get down there. That's good, John. Hope you can pass your test and get yourself a nice little van. You'll be able to get out and about and do loads of fishing. Very next month. Oh, nice one. Maybe getting all your revision done and stuff in. Be good to see you get on the road and do some videos out and about. Hopefully we'll get to meet up at some point. I missed you last time you came in this way. You were only like an hour and a half away. We just couldn't get there at that time. But I'm pretty sure I'll see you at some point somewhere else. So I'm now going over the top of Wayford Bridge. I keep saying that I'm going to stop here one day and fish it, but there's nowhere to park the trouble. A lovely area. Just having somewhere to park to actually get down and fish it. Oh it's looking lovely. Flat calm day by those things. Hopefully there's no wind where we're going.
when you start looking for a van and that John just give us a heads up or a message in the background and I'll give you a hand to find something nice No problem at all. You know that's what I do, so if I do find something that'll be something good, good mechanical condition and that sort of thing. I can always give it the once over like I do my cars and make it look nice and shiny and you know protect it with all the sealants and stuff. Like I say, well, We'll cross that one when you're ready. So today we got sort of five, six degrees. It's not looking very windy at all, so that's good. Prefer not to get too much wind. I'm gonna be out on the ledger feeder I think them chaps are not quite sure where they were going Hi Mel, how you doing? Yeah, hopefully can't see why not, I've just been trying some new places well not, not so much new places but some harder places in the winter whereas where I'm going today be very surprised if I don't get a few fish this is where the fish go in the winter basically but sometimes you've got to try them other places because you never know where the stray big fish go Andy Ticket Fishing, how you doing? Yep, Mr. Bream Man from yesterday. <laughs> if you don't know everybody, Andy had a couple of nice bream yesterday. So look out for that video. Getting down there, we ain't got far to go now. Get parked up, saw our rod. Andy Ticket Fishing, feel free to drop your link so everyone can go and find your video later on once you've got it uploaded. Or anyone else, you're quite welcome to drop links. Bike. You bike in here, are you? Oh no, your bike was okay, you left it overnight. <laughs> yeah, I get
Brendan's been live again, is he? I didn't see that either. Oh, the bots are about already, look. Oh, yesterday, yeah. Yeah, I saw him on the beach. I want to see him out fishing now. <coughs> so, we're now coming into Roxham. Should have gone right in a roundabout instead of having to turn around, but there we go. Not much I can do. Gives me a chance to look over the top of the bridge. Hi Carpen, how you doing mate? Well, Stephen, you'll be pleased to know there's no one in your bridge swim. But there's a lot of people along the river. I'm going to swim around here, I think. Loads of water, as you can see, it's been flooding again. But it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, train's now turning up. You could have done that, Stephen. Train's now getting here. <laughs> Alright, back over the bridge. <coughs> I'm just trying to see who's and where. There's a lot of people there. There's no one at the bridge, which I'm quite surprised about. Morning, Leon. How you doing? Bridge, you want to go bridge? I thought you might. I want to go where the right are in the middle, to be honest, but I'm not sure about to get that swim. <coughs> All right, so I'm parked up in my normal spot, Stephen. So I'll meet you down here somewhere. I'll get everyone on the stand. I'm going to get set up while I'm here so I can just walk down with a rod and a chair and some baits, and we'll go from there. Alright, so bear with me everyone, I'm literally going to get a rod set up right here. So I'm ready to go as soon as we get down there. 
take a chair, a bag, cameras and stuff. Get your outside so you can get a better view, shall we? Whoa, how you doing then, everyone? Hope you're all good. So I'm just gonna get set up right here at the back of the car, and then I'm gonna wander down to the river and see what we can find. Tony, how you doing? Front, how you doing? How you doing, everybody? Right, let's get set up. Not going to be too long today. I'm only going to be here till dark. Just thought I'd come and give it a small session, sort of four or five hours, because I've still got some bait left over from yesterday, and I've still got some worms and maggots, that sort of stuff. So let's do it. Tell you what I'll do, I'll move you over this side. Because there's obviously cars in and out and stuff. I'm going to say this. 
Anyone who's coming in, I can't see.
Right, everyone. Welcome anyone who ain't in. Oh, I'm trying to carry everything in one hand, which is not good. Toilets are there if anyone wants to know. <coughs> A lot of people down here, bullets things. My arms are falling off already. So we've got people in front of us there. Got people down to the right. Kept down there filming and fishing. Not very good. Uh, I'll have to come and show you how to do it. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed, we'll get a few between us. Hopefully. Yeah. It sounds like it's a bit quiet, everyone. But you never know. This is the old pub. Any luck? No starting? Yeah. Hope you get food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any good? Not yet? No. No good, is it? <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> Never know. So everyone, and we'll sound us really quiet at the moment, but you don't know till you try, do you? It's a bit of interesting for us to be honest for two minutes, and we'll walk around the other side there. couple of chaps over there on the canoes pulling in some silverfish while those things. Not a lot of room here. Swim left really is the bridge swim on the other side of the road. Whew, I'm just resting my arm because I had everything on one arm to carry the camera. Now I've got a dead arm. <laughs>
All right then, let's squeeze through. Let's try not to break a tip of your rider as I'm doing all this. Steven will be happy. This is the spot he like. I'm wondering where the fish ever saw the bridge, to be honest. I've never tried it. And you know what? I think I'm going to try it. I know I'd catch it out of the bridge, but. Gonna find a few birds and stuff here, but not too worried. I want to know what's out in the middle of this river. There's a nice big bit of river here, so it's a spot I've always wanted to try, and now I'm going to. Set up and we'll get a rod in the water. I'll give you some scenery to look at. Oh, I can't feel my arms. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, we're not going to get too much activity from swans all around us. Get a rod sorted. She better cast out literally within a couple of seconds. Just got to put a bait on. I'll have one cast without putting any grain bait in. <clears throat> then the next cast will be with grain baits and all sorts. So this is what I'm up to. Got a sliding feeder down to a bead to buffer it. Got about two foot of hook length, size 10 hook. 
and we get a whack some worms on and see how we get on. Hopefully we're not going to get attacked by all the ducks. They get fed behind at the moment, so it should be a good thing. We've got a nice wide piece of river here, so there's no reason why we can't find a few fish. And Stephen's going to be joining us soon. Plenty of room next to me for at least another three anglers if you want to. And it should be a good spot for the sort of fishing he does as well, so. Let's get a couple of juicy worms on. From now down. Ooh. Like so. Get them out in the middle there. So I'm going to mix up some ground mate in a minute, but just first cast while I'm mixing up, I'll put this out. You never know, we might get a bite. We'll go from there. Yeah, someone's feeding the swans behind me. But there's plenty of room here to have a go. The only thing is, I ain't bought rod rest, which is a bit of a pain. But I can see it's all out. I can just put it over the top of the bag. And we'll see how we get on. All right, I'm going to go for this spot. I think it looks good. I'm sure I'm going to try sort of just under the halfway mark of the river. And we'll see how we get on from there. Got maggots, sweet corn, let's have a bit of ground bait. Which I'll mix up in a sec. And we'll move this bag around. Go on. This one's trying to take stuff out of my hands. <laughs> it's a bit of a pain. Oh, right. Bang around there. And then that's all set up. Whereabouts are you and Stephen? Are you near? Yeah, Swan City, but hopefully that's Fish City as well. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? So you don't have to come around this side. I just wanted to give it a go. I fancy this corner is a nice big bit of river right in front of me. This one will soon move off. And I've spoke to a lot of people along the river on the way up through the, between the two bridges and no one's catching nothing. So we got to see what we can do down this end, basically. Hopefully the two fish all moved into this bit and moved out of that bit. One's trying to get out and couldn't even get out of the water. <laughs> what I'm doing is I've got a, a quiver tip sitting there. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm trying to put it in a bit higher angle for you. We'll keep it like so. You've got the rod to watch and uh, It's alright Stephen, you can go anywhere you want to go mate, I just want to give it a go. There's only this side of the bridge or the very first one on the other side of a free swim anyway. Uncle Larry, how you doing mate? Cheers for that. I'm literally on my first cast, I'm there mixing up some ground bait. And let's see how we get on. Definitely plenty of seagulls and swans and everything happening. Got a few boats going through, which you're now about to see. Hi Jay, how you doing? Hi Valerie, how you doing? Yeah, there's loads of swans, loads of geese. There's all sorts here today. Which I know everyone loves to see. How you doing, Mary? We're literally on our first cast. New spot of the river I ain't fished before. I think Stephen's coming down, but I'm not sure if he's going to be fishing where I'm fishing. He might be going the other side of the bridge. But it'd be good if he would ever go this side, because you never know. It's a big open... It's 
bottle of water here. You've got all the way down there, as you can see, which only the people can fish from, from the holiday homes and stuff like that. So surely they've got to be good spots because they're not overfished. And then you've got that way, down to the bridge, you can fish under the bridge or along the side there. Which I reckon Stephen's going to do, probably under the bridge there. And yeah, can't see why we shouldn't get a few bites. Oh, nice one, Stephen. Plenty of room here. Yeah. So I think you should try to the right me under the bridge if you want to do that. There's a nice big open bit of water here. That's, that's more than what you get on the other side, so I can't see any reason why the fish won't be here. And there's a lot of people pike on the other side. Yeah, that's fine. There is a few bits and pieces going down the river. It's a pain, and they're going to ruin it because we've got a big branch there going through my line, which I don't want. There's a very fast flow on this side of the river. When you reel it in, that feels like you got a fish on. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll fish out in the flow, or maybe just past it. You'll probably see where I cast there. I'll gradually go sort of further and further away from the flow until we find out where the fish are set. I would think it'll be sitting either side of the flow and not actually in the flow of the middle of the river. But there's only one way to find out. That. I think the flow is literally ripping my feeder down stream. Just slacking off and see if that picks up again. Yep, De definitely taking it right down this one. Not going to work. Right, okay. So I'm either going to have to go closer or further across to hold bottom, which is not a problem. So this is what it's all about. You're, you've got to try new spots and work things out. Yeah, it's definitely a fast flow here. Yeah? Let's try over towards them boats over there, shall we? Look at that, right in front of the boats. And no one's going to be fishing there because obviously you've got the boat higher place. So it's sort of like having your own spot, which is nice. Okay, so I'm still getting dragged by little things. I was pulling on my line, one of the two. We'll give it a few minutes, we'll try it. We'll say, well, we're sorting out some ground bait. If not, we're gonna have to drop short away from the flow, down these sides and go from there. Either way, I'll work ahead of fish. There's always a way. Even with a very hefty current that we've got in front of us. And we'll start to make it work. Leon, you're quite welcome to talk, Leon. Just don't bring up anything like you did yesterday in um, Tasha's one. You know, just talk about normal stuff. Well done with the fish or place looks nice. Swans and stuff, you know, just talk about normal things. And then that's fine, it's not a problem. I can't actually believe how rough the current is through here. It's really, really flowing through. I left myself a bit short, really, because I've got loads of gear in the car and I've bought minimal stuff with me because I could hardly carry it. And now I ain't really got all the stuff I need with me. <laughs> Just silly things like things to stir the ground bait with and stuff like that. But see if I find a stick or something, we'll go from there. How's everyone else's day going then? Everything good? If you want to see me rod tip, 
Okay, well, you can see that. We'll put you over that way for a little bit. Yep, you did end ticket. This is a hell of a flow though. <laughs> you cast in the middle, you cast three quarter, and that just disappears down the river like you're fishing Yarmouth North Beach or something. <laughs> it's that rough. And I've got a heavy feeder on, I've got a 30 gram feeder on. It's not like a slight. Like I say, we can deal with that. We can drop short just to the flow. We can go from there or we can cast further downstream. River, whatever you want to call it. Hi Lee, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad. It's pretty nice out here, to be honest. I'm enjoying just sitting here, to be honest. There's lots going on. As you can see, we've got people having fun feeding all the birds and stuff here. It's getting a bit crazy. Which we're probably going to get all day. Yeah, Valerie, that's lovely. You can't ask for better spots, really. Around this area is really good. Oh, you charge up your batteries, have you, Stephen? <laughs> nice one. I've got some with me as well, anyway. Yeah, the whole whole place is lovely. Why so many people come here for holidays and day trips and stuff like that. Ground bait mixes, Leon, I, um, I mix my own. I've got like red crumb, brown crumb, uh, black crumb. I put hemp, sweet corn, maize, all different particles all grounded down into tiny little bits. Um, my own flavourings, stuff like that. Me and Miss Wartside um, used to do that as a thing. We used to sell all sorts of baits and stuff. And, so we know how to make our own, really. We're probably going to be doing that again soon, at some point. So, yeah, once it's mixed up, I'll show you. Oh no, Stephen, not scarf. I didn't help you bring in a big bream yesterday, did it? Hi, John, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Yep, you're spot on there. We're literally in just sort of working things out where we can settle the feeder in the river. You've got a really fast flow. You want to work it out. I seem to, seem to be sitting in front of these boats over here and I seem to have settled down. I'll either fish there or come closer into this side of the flow and we'll start getting some bait down there and get some bites, hopefully. I'm quite shocked how powerful the flow is. <laughs> I won't expect from that. But it's also a lovely spot, like you're all saying. He's joking, Stephen. He's been editing his video and stuff, and all he could hear is you talking on your live. <laughs> That's what he's on about. <laughs> we need to all talk a bit quieter so we don't go on top of each other's videos and that unless we're meaning to. Because otherwise, that makes the editing process really hard work to get out, you know, weird conversations that someone else is having in the background of your video or live or whatever you're doing. How you doing, big Dan? So, there's not much happening out there. Like, so I expect to be getting bites sort of fairly quickly once I find a shoal of fish, so. No, that's all right, Steve, we're not moaning. It's just, we're, we all do it. We're all doing it over the top of each other's videos and lives, so we've got to just sort of quiet down slightly. Because obviously we're sitting right next to each other, aren't we? So it's not, you know, we've just got to work it out, so that all works for everyone. 
unless we're in a live and everyone wants to talk on that one live, then that's fine, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna try just down the side there like that. So I should be out of the flow down there. Let's see what that produces. So I've got to find something to um find something to mix things up a bit on the old ground back side of things first and I could start putting some of that in but I can't seem to find anything right this minute <laughs> it's a pain <laughs> yeah, he's getting wound up, wasn't he? <laughs> when he hadn't had a fish and we had. But he got a few in the end, didn't he? Mr. Bond, how you doing? Welcome to the live. There's birds absolutely all over the place around there. <laughs> the good thing is, though, they're not in the water in front of me, so it's not disturbing me lines. They're all random, you know, sort of beside me and stuff, which is not a problem. I can deal with that. It'd be nice if I could fish down river where all them boats are, but I don't think you can get to anywhere down there where you're allowed to fish the flow would obviously slow down down there and that's where I'd expect to find some quite nice fish but I'll have to work out one out another day see if I can find a few spots I can get into it you're allowed to go to go from there we had no little taps or bites or anything yet but that don't mean nothing we're any sort of just sort of working out what to do at the moment. Once we get some ground bait going and stuff like that, we shouldn't be too much of a problem. I might even have to cast down the stream quite a bit. Away from the flow. Away from this main flow we're getting through here, I should say. And um, see if that works or... Yeah, we just keep moving it about until we find a few fish. Yeah, Leon, I had a lovely dinner. Sausages, mash, onions, vegetables, gravy, lovely. After being out for 16 hours, that was exactly what I needed. <laughs> a couple of beers as well, and then had a good old chat on one of the chatting channels, which was Tasha's, Tasha Jarvis. If anyone's on here and don't know that channel, please go and sub, and as well as the people that are on the, in the chat now, go and sub to them. And you're welcome to drop your links and stuff. We have a chap now coming up behind us. I believe his name's Stephen. <laughs> Here he comes. Getting rid of all our birds for us, which is good. <laughs> oh, sound loud to the geese. <laughs> I 
you reckon? They ain't too bad of a pest, they're just staying around the back there. What are you thinking? <laughs> There's a hell of a flow about a rod length out after that, it's flow like mad. <laughs> yeah, he's down here again. Now we plan to come down and use up some bait we had um, left over from yesterday. <laughs> really big Dan, that's nice of you. <laughs> Leaning on my own rod now, look. <laughs> There's the rod tip if you want to see it. I think you can just pick that up. I'm now mixing up a ground bait, as I was saying. Keep moving my rod so I get slacked on it. Jack missed this one, that's it. He's ducked down. It's a good thing, they know what they're doing. They see the line and they just duck under it, which is ideal.
as you can hear in the background, is me using the top of a bottle to make some ground bait. <laughs> a little drink of water bottle. That's doing the job, so. Let's get some other baits in there as well. Let's see what we can find. Get a bit of sweet corn in there. Maggots in there. So I'll show you in a sec. Not too. So this is basically what we got going on there. Ground bait mix with some sweet corn maggots, hemp, all little bits and pieces in it. And that should get us a few bites. Should have got the drill out, yeah. <laughs> I say people mix them in them big bait, bait buckets now, don't they? Right, so I'm gonna start putting some ground bait in. We'll find a spot and we'll just start feeding. See if we can find a few fish. Right then, let's work out what we've got to do here, shall we? Um, still fancy down the middle of the river, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a long cast down the river. Try and get away from some of that flow. Hopefully you'll see that land. Should have done. Should get us just on the edge of the main flow there. They've been their boats that have been hired out and stuff like that. These sort of things. Yeah, I've been off down the broader and stuff like that, piking and stuff like that. <laughs> How you doing, Stephen? What they do is they take a plasterer's whisk and they put it on the end of a drill, put it in the bucket and mix up you know, big amounts of ground bait. So if you say like you want to do like three kilos of ground bait and do, do a good old mix, that's how you do it. Without making it too much hard work to... I guess ones are coming in everyone. <laughs> oh, wait, Mr. Swan, get off. <laughs> oh, I'll talk to That's what I'm saying, but that spot when you're right, you're going to Yeah. Maybe you can't fish in there, it's just the disadvantage. The pain, huh? They go out this bank, yeah, they feed in that water, there, they come up there, they feed in that bank. Yeah. I like to look at down there, but you can't get down there, can you? Look at them, they just look I'm good. I'm saying, I would say, no, you're sitting, I was just sort of like, when you're sitting, flip over up this way, you don't get the fish. It's just, it's got its advantages, problem. <laughs> what I might have to do, everyone, is put you um, on top of the camera rest. Keep it well up in the air, away from the swans. You're not going to be able to see it, but <laughs> I don't know if you're happy with that, but that'll make it easier for me to fish. Depends if you want to see lots of birds and stuff. Yeah, I'll enjoy the swans, but tinkerbells change. 
Yeah, she'd like it if she was in there, definitely. Turn the middle bit the other way around. <laughs> the bit in the middle. Turn it so it faces you. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, that's always across your picture. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There's 28 people in the chat, so let me know if you're happy to not watch the rod for a little while or I'll just wander about. Because I've got it above the rest where you can't see it. Is that okay or that's going to stop them from keep pulling my line away? But you'll still get to see all the fish. Beeler Stafe, just before Cotton. I don't actually know where that is, but I'll certainly go and have a look. I like Cartersville down in front of the pub there, and along that bend. I know that's good for pike and perch and stuff, but we'll go and fish that one day. Yeah, I'll definitely go and have a look. Cheers for that, Stephen. We're going to have two Stephens in the chat now, so that's going to be awkward. I have to say Stephen W and Stephen... <laughs> Two Stevens in. <laughs> so we ain't had a bite yet, anyone, but early days at the moment. Are you allowed to fish on there then? I don't know. It's all open, isn't it? You know where the owls are built up this one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, but on that one. I'm more concerned if you can't find my owls. Oh, what? I'm hooking that thing. Right there. Oh really? Um, oh that's strange, I'm going to tell that to Stephen. Huh? Chap on the chat saying down at Cotchell, when that's crystal clear, he's in flat fishing flounders and all that. He's in flat fishing flounders and stuff. Flounders? In the fresh water. Huh? <laughs> that'd be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that'd be really good to go and see. I'll go and check it out. I've walked along there a few times, but I've never took the camera down there. There is a couple of spots I'd love to try. Yeah, I'll pick you up in a little while as well, Stephen. Once I come off on, you know, I'll come off the camera and stuff. I'll subscribe to you later on. I think Stephen's like, are you live? Yeah, Stephen's live next to me now, if you want to go and say hello. How's that for a few swans, everyone?
good landscape for you to do your life. If you're going to see a cool spring, I've got told me I've got my hand to do a landscape. Are you okay, everyone, with this sort of view? Not seeing the tip of the rod? I can chat away to you then. No problem, Leon. <laughs> Andy saying he can hear you anyway. Oh. <laughs> Come the geese, everyone. <laughs> geese fight, geese fight. <laughs> Getting it on film, look. Don't know what's going on, but they're not happy. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but the geese weren't too happy. Oh, they're still going for it. Oh, I thought I had a bite then, that got caught me lying. <laughs> Oh, nice one, Stephen. I haven't actually seen many big carp come out of the broad, so that'd be nice to see. I've been um, down Beggles on the channel a couple of times, but that just seems to be really dead at the moment. There's a lot of matches on there on the weekends and stuff, and no one's getting anything. They're literally blanking, which is not very good. Yeah, that's right, Andy. Hello, and goodbye again. I know where you've gone. Yeah, go on, Mr. Green, man. I know what I thought I was doing.
like that. The eel steel, I can't say I've seen many eels. I haven't actually had any eel out of the broads myself for as long as I can remember. I can't remember the last eel I caught out of fresh water. I've had quite a few off um, Lowestoft Pier and down Goulston River and places like that in the sea, but no, I haven't had them out of the rivers yet. May get a few in the summer. We'll have to see. We're not getting any bites yet. I've got maggot on at the moment. Not maggot, sorry. I've got a big bunch of worms on at the moment. Two worms. It's not doing anything yet, but that doesn't mean anything. We ain't been here too long yet. We've got to have a few casts, get a few bits of bait out there. And let things build up a little bit. Thinking out loud, are you, Leon? <laughs> How's it going, walkabout Richard? Getting lots of new people in today, I appreciate that. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a good old thumbs up and I'll do the same back when I get home. And I appreciate you coming in, I hope you enjoy things. Got a good community on here and I'm out every week, so there's lots to see. Fishing on rivers like this, out on my boat, doing walk rounds on the beaches doing walk rounds at places like this. I've got a car channel as well called Car Transformations UK. And I build cars and stuff on there and I'm out and about in the car. We have chats and stuff. Steve P, how you doing? Thanks very much, walk about Richard. <laughs> We've got lots of Richard, so we're gonna have to say sort of Richard this and Richard that to know who we're talking to. No, not on the float today, I'm actually out on the feeder. Got ground bait out there. I'll quickly run you through the baits because no one's seeing. You're going to see the rod. I've literally got the rod on top of the camera rest at the moment. Just because all the swans keep coming through, but I've got maggots, sweet corn, worms. And then I'm just mixing it all up into a nice ground bait that I've mixed up. Looks like mud, <laughs> but it does the job. And yeah, we're just ledgering out on the bottom. Got a running ledger uh, with two foot hook length and a size 10 hook. So I think what we'll do is we'll bring that back in because we want to get a few bits of ground bait out there. Keep having a few casts. See if we can get a few fish moving around the area. And trouble just flow, you reel in and that feel like you got a fish on every time when you haven't. <laughs> Ground bait's obviously a bit tough because half of it's come back in. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that in front of me, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I've got a sliding feeder, big bunch of worms. We're trying to get them big rud. Hopefully you saw that splash, that's where we're sort of casting out to, down that way. Normally I'd put a rod down on a rod rest in front of me and put it in front of the camera but there's a lot of swans underneath me at the moment. So I'm just putting it there for now. But once I settle down a bit I'll move it around again and we'll go from there. Cheers Big Dan. <laughs> What 
do is I'll keep you with the view like this so you can see what's going on around the river. And we start when we start getting a few bites, I'll change your view over to the rod. And hopefully we'll start to see a few bites with me. Cheers, Andy. Check it. We also have a members bit on the channel if anyone's interested. And you become green in the chat. Costs just over a pound a week and that supports the channel with fuel and bait and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, please help with the channel and I can keep doing more of these trips. Stephen P, yeah, normally I'd go, well, I, have I think I went for it earlier on at the beginning of the live. But when I reel in again, I can show you what I'm doing, what catches me fish. Yeah, you can post links to other channels, that's not a problem. As long as that's all about fishing and stuff like that, then yeah, it's not a problem. Obviously, don't want no dodgy channels put up. Which I'm not going to speak about, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> not, I don't mean fishing channels, I mean like adult content channels, that sort of thing. Cool. <laughs> what, right there? Nice. Should get your food fish. Spoke to a few people up the other end there and they're not getting them. Well, yes, I was going past them landing doors. That doesn't matter. When I walk through in front of the, yeah, where we normally go, do you see them on the canoes? They're going down there now, but. Here come two more boats. <laughs> they must be them boats you can hire out. Yeah, 50 pounds. It's a bit late yeah. to go in this time of day, isn't it? I'll get one by the summer. <laughs> oh yeah. But if I can buy one, we can do what we want. <laughs> Hell of a fire, wasn't it? <laughs> Unreal. I passed out an air and that went. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm telling you, some big roach now sitting down the side of that flower. These boats and that you're seeing going past everyone now, these are ones that you can hire out and go out, do a day's fishing on, down the broads and stuff. Most people go out on the big board and do a bit of piking in them. Stick it over the edge. Flick it over the edge. Put it over the edge. Oh, it would be, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, the Martin going over the bridge, everyone. I'm not getting any nibbles yet. If I still struggle on worm in the next sort of 15 minutes or so, I'll switch over to maggot and we'll see if we can um, find some stuff like that. Stephen W. Trips, who's setting up next to me, is now 
upset that I'm not afloat, so we'll see if he starts getting a poo. And we'll go from there. Oh, we've got a bite, everyone. Here we go, first bite. That's what we wanted. Come on. Give it a bit of time because it could be fish just attacking the feeder. Get the ground bait. We'll wait for the tip to actually bounce really hard. That was a couple of small sort of knocks. Just give me an idea there's some fish there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a chap on a roof up here, I don't know what he's up to. <laughs> They're coming his way there. Hey George, me George, 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 you have to be <laughs> no, I ain't gonna do that one. It's a long way to, from that building to the water there. <laughs> Andy Tigger Fishing, if you want to find out people's channels, if you just click on their name, and that will say go to channel at the top when you click on their name, and you just go straight to their channel like that and get a link as easy as that. But you can only do that when you're blue. You are obviously. Um, I can't see any Barry. Well, if I do find some, I'll zoom in on them for you. You look over to in between them houses down there, down the, down 
down that lane there, down in the left-hand corner, there's a couple of chaps sitting in a boat and they're piking. They're on the edge of the yard there, look. <laughs> You'll have to zoom to see it, but they're tucked away in the corner there. That little boy we had seemed to have gone away, which is a bit of a pain. So I think we'll bring it in again, we'll keep casting because we need to get some ground bait down there to get some fish there, so. Morning Richard, how you doing? Morning Mick, how you doing mate? <laughs> Sounds like lots of people are having fun enjoying the birds. So anyone who's just come in, I'm out on the ledger. We're trying to get some of these rudd. How you feeling Richard? Uh, yeah, your little red room now. <laughs> it's a big high boat there coming down the river everyone.
think it might be a couple of swans down here. Got a boat blasting down the river going way too fast. Might be a couple of swans down here. Getting on, mate. Just got him in here, like. Oh, right. Yeah, had a couple of cars, but yeah. not too much yet. It's normally good. Yeah. yeah. It's a big old golden run in that, normally, but. Yeah, no, right. Not today, at the moment. No. Swans are having fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny they ever belted that. Yeah. Yeah. That was interesting, your pod, brother. I'm live on YouTube. Oh, well, yeah. YouTube channel. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Waterfly fishing events, if you want to look. Yeah, I will do, mate. I will do, yeah. We do fishing and we go out on the boat. We do walk around in different towns. Oh, right, okay. Uh, north of beaches and that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good fun. We literally get people from all over the world chatting on there, talking to me. Yeah, good, yeah. I'll see what they're up for. What are they up to? What's up to? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's all good fun. Yeah. Good to meet loads of people in the town. Yeah. Yeah. He's having fun with his float, <laughs> with the pond. I'll, I'll bet he is. <laughs> I'll keep mine up over That's the top. But... <laughs> At least you got... <laughs> yeah. yeah. People like to see this one, so... Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. Like, you know. it's, it's the broads, isn't it? Yeah. What you can't get away from, can you? No. So... Are you out for the weekend or are you down for a week? Or? No, I'll just come for a day, mate. Yeah. We'll do that ride out. Yeah, we nice. normally stay at Potter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then, I don't live far away from that. So. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. I don't fish very well this time of year though because all the salt water getting there. Right. Yeah, that's no good really for the summer. I say we normally have one, cottages on the river there. Oh, lovely, yeah. So the prices are going up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going up there. 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 Yeah, it's I've been coming to the boards. We've got five at Potter. Yeah. Staying up here. Yeah. We actually moved up to North Norfolk only about six months ago. Oh, right. Always loved the area. Yeah. Right. Even there. Yeah. Before it's too late for me. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy a bit of the boards and yeah. the beaches. Yeah. Are you having fun there, Stephen, with Elf Swans? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Food, yeah, nice, nice to meet you. And you, mate. I'm Carl, by the way. Carl, yeah. yeah, yeah nice to meet you. Nice to get on the old channel. Yeah, come and say hello, yeah. Yeah. So I think there's what? There's 30-odd people in there now, so... Is there? Yeah. What's it called again? Waterside Fishing Adventures. Waterside Fishing Adventures, right. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Pop down a bit, you can say hello. <laughs> hello! New subscriber, everyone. <laughs> How you all doing? <laughs> Right, I'll catch you later. Come in, say hello, yeah. yeah nice okay. to meet you. Thank Cheers. You. See you. Are you getting annoyed, Tim? Do you want to go the other side? You want to move over the other side? <laughs> not much happening, to be honest. Yeah, there's not much happening. I'm not too worried. So there ain't much happening here at the moment, so I ain't too worried. I don't think there is. Well, there weren't. Over there, down there. I don't think that's going to be that good. That road down there, there's people fishing in there, look. Like. <laughs> if I all got it blank, I'd just go and sell it back and take the rod off the bridge to go and fish that way. Yeah. I'm going to get one today. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take them up to them and get back to the bank. If I have to go and get them out of the bank, I'll take them outside the bridge. Take them for a walk. I'm going to wait one.
Yeah. We're thinking about maybe going the other side of the bridge, everyone, because this is absolutely swarming with swans and there's people coming out for days out feeding the swans and that's making it really hard work to fish. Stephen obviously can't even keep a flow out there. I've got the ledge of rub in the air, so it's not too bad for me, but... birds should be absolutely huge with the amount of food they get every day. Is that? Moving? I am right at the leg, but you're struggling to float, isn't you? I don't want to be. I'm a bob, I'm still fishing. It's not bob, but I just don't think you'll get much of it. No. Some of these have been there. You've got more chance that side. Alright, everyone, we're going to move to the other side of the bridge where it's a bit more quiet. Because there's so many people about. It's like the middle of the summer's day, there's people everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, well, you're getting out of the No, it's too much for my hands. <laughs> well, I think you've got too much. This is what everyone's up to, everyone. <laughs> getting crazy with the old swans and stuff. Be a lot quieter on the other side. You do get the swans still come through, but it's a bit to fish where you don't get any hassle. Right, everyone, it's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride for a minute. There's not much I can do.
sorry about the view at the moment, but I so just got across the road. Thank you. Oh yeah, I see. I'll, I'll get the perch spot. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, my worms were in my bag earlier. <laughs> right, everyone. I'll get myself reset again. You still get some nice views. There's still a nice spot to be in. I could have fished it, but you can fish on the float. Yeah, but Because I'm, I'm such a nice person, you see, I wouldn't let someone struggle with all the swans. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, we'll have to see something. if we can get further down the river there now, someone. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. Well, I'm back. Um, I know it's not chopped up, but. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been handy, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. We'll we'll go back the way. They've got to get all the swans out. I think they've got to get a bit. Yeah, we'll wait for them to go away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they can feed them. They can do something. They see a bit of bread. Oh, yeah. I had a cod, um, cod earlier on. Did you see it? That pan now? Oh, I didn't mind. I wasn't expecting that many people to be around in the winter, to be honest. Uh, you just, well, sure. I think I've watched like, I said, you fish out. You've got to get constant. I know you've done, you lift it up, so that's a good idea. It's fine to go under. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get on the flight. I just don't think it's going to struggle. I'll have to get a good struggle. I want to go in my swim down there where I normally go, but... Well, the fish is a little... Um, the chap over there fishing the green bank again, look. Like. Oh yeah, I see. It's just, just, got a face mask on. Yeah. I can't believe that. Someone's sitting on his own. And there was people out here on canoes when I got here. That's a good oh, idea, I suppose. Yeah. It might be cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, right, everyone. Let's see what we can do. Let's get you set up in a nice position again. Bear with me a sec. We sort of know the swim, so we know where to fish in this swim and stuff, so we should get a few bites. If I'm right, then Stephen should get some roach and I should pick up some perch. I think two unknown swims in a row, I don't know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I just think, oh, that's them too, they can't catch any fish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Andy Tigger's not here. It's a green man. Yeah, I know. Thanks for the one. I thought we'd last week. I thought we'd last week. Really? See, that's why we... Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen's in with a yucky bag. <laughs> and I'm down here next to the underneath the boat with a nice worm on. But I would, 
I will fish out in the middle in a minute. I just want to get myself a fish to get rid of the blank. So I'm going to give, go for a perch under the boat. And then I'm going to go for them right, as I said. Yeah, I need to cast over that way, really. I just feel it's more shallow, like prefer the shallower sort of. Alright, what we should do is push a couple of these boats out and fish in between them. <laughs> going on over there but they're all standing up though. There's just a lot of people on that one corner. I thought someone was bringing in a good fish. Oh look at them again, pike buttons. Jesus, there's about 50 out there. Hey fish! <laughs> How long did that take? <laughs> Steven's into a fish everyone. That's why you wanted to come here you see because this is the roach swim for Steven. Nice size fish as well. Well done mate. That is true. Oh, he's picking, picking on me today, look. You told me, that's why I picked this week. I didn't get it. There's another whole week next week. There you go everyone, you still get the old swans and stuff. Hello Tony, how you doing? Yeah, but when you do that, we should plan it and then we can fish outwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to get around those side, um, boots, that side, um, and have a look where the shops, and I'll try to get the shops, that's the shops. Yeah. Get a tip on them. Yeah. Sorry, bro, again. I was just saying, just left, 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 and then just a pair of them. Sorry, people, I went to uh, the house. Cockles as bait, no, I can't say I have. Never tried it, no. Could be interesting, I could try that, something different. Really?
fish on everyone. <laughs> I think you found a fish. That's going well. No, the boat's still there. Well, Tony, that's good news, mate. Glad to hear that. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Yes, yeah, so we can come over there. And I said, we're there fishing down there. <laughs> oh, damn. Come say hello. Yeah, why not? We'll see you off the bridge there. We tried the other side, but the swans are attacking us like mad. There's a few out there as well, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to whip this out. Hang on. <laughs> Just going on this side, but he's getting a bit. Yeah, you always nick them, don't you? Yeah, I always nick them. It's going to be fun over front of them boats. Yeah, I was the one that mentioned about Bramington Woods End yesterday. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I've heard about the boats, I mean, but. As you got on last night, I didn't know. What, today, last night? Did you get any last night? Did you bring? No, I didn't know yesterday. Uh, Andy had two, about sort of four pound ish. And me and Stephen had a fair few little ones. Yeah, otherwise. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Are you happy to come on camera and say hello to everyone, or do you not want to? No. No? No. Really, no. no. <laughs> well, she on camera. No. Just thought you might do a little wave or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't see her parents, so um, no, you have to keep her. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. Just a little day out, are you? Yeah, just come and feed the ducks, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, you can take all that there if you want. Oh, wow. Take it. 
Bruce. Right on that? Yeah. Yeah. Still dark, I reckon, yeah. Yeah. Give it a go. Nice one. I should say, I don't know, you get away with it. I, 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 I get told off for going once a week, but I don't know anything else. Without fishing? Look. Without fishing? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take you fishing one day. Well, we should fall in. When you're a bit older. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> Right. Which is so clumsy. Yeah. Aren't you? Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, like oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we went come through the pub first, and we were stuck, so we had to climb over the fence. Oh, what? <laughs> That's fair enough. We've been through ducks then. We've been through times in the past that we've climbed over the fence with the pubs. No. Well, normally to get in. No, I haven't. I've played that swans, <laughs> not ducks. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of everything around there, and the yeah. pigeons and all it's sorts today. Swans, and ducks. Right? Swans, ducks, ducks, pigeons, geese. That was cool <laughs> one. Yeah, it's big. I don't win that bit because all them swans are in there, I don't. Get stuck in there, don't you? Uh, food ducks here? What do you reckon? Food ducks? Right. You've been at McDonald's, haven't we? On sweet corn everywhere. Nice. Oh, that is nice. Oh, got off. He did. <laughs> Nearly. Oh, <Paul>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was all sweet corn. Well, how many have you caught then? Four. Oh, we just. Well, we literally just sat down, so. Oh, have you? Yeah. We were sitting over there. We were on the other side, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, seven person. Well, I said, oh, I've bought a couple of big bands with them. So, yeah. I've got a bag of big bands with them. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, 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 yeah, nice to meet you anyway. Yeah, 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 we'll see you about yeah. another time. I'll be time. watching later because he's got a cold, so. Okay, we'll Sounds good. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll, we can wind you up later <laughs> now. Because yeah. yeah. you said you were perfect. Oh, pretty, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> see you later. All right, see you later. Nice to meet you. Alright for you, you've netting up, I can't even get a bite. Put your sweet corn on. Get off work. That's a shop, you see, that's how we didn't get a deep on the tank. I'm over there, in front of that boat. <laughs> wow. Right on the other side there. What are you talking about? I hope I can get my line back in around these boats. I wasn't expecting to meet her today. How was I? Hello, you took Nice that people come and say hello there, isn't it? I'll buy her a picture. She looks a bit more stumpy and more stumpy. Oh, she ain't gonna like that. No, I should have a little picture. Like, that's hard to see a little picture, isn't it? Yeah. You got one, ain't you? Yeah, I think so. Hey. I had a little tab. I think it's just a little perch or something. Which one? 
Fish off everyone. What? Fish off everyone. <laughs> what? That ain't fair. Stephen's whipping them in. He's getting nice sized roach as well. Oh, it's only got half a tail. It's been took by a pike. Show that to your camera and me. Look at this fish. I survived somehow, but it's been took by a pike. Poor fish. Someone was reeling that in, I reckon. <laughs> Andy said, get down at the throat of the scarf in. She's not here anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got that. I've got the scarf on. <laughs> nah, she's gone. She's gone. She's gone, Mr. Green Man. <laughs> we did ask her to pop on and say hello, but she didn't want to. Okay. This is fair enough. We've got to respect people's wishes. Yeah. All right, mate. Any luck? No starting literally, so yeah. we've been there the last few weeks and had some really big golden rod though. Really? Sort of two, two and a half pound. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice big. Yeah, nice. I had a perch uh, about two pound under this boat the other day. Oh, really? Right where you are, yeah, just under this side. So they are about. Yeah, like, yeah. Just getting a chap was fishing in front of the pub last week, doing what you were doing. 33 pound pike. Really? On a little spinner of perch. <laughs> That's a big fish. I bet you he's holding on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. She better find it online. That's all over the place at the moment. But if you yeah. want to see it, nice fish. I did see a big old pike in the paper as well. Yeah, probably the same one. Yeah. Probably yeah. is. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. The perch are definitely about, it's just finding the big ones, isn't it? That is, yeah, there's a lot of small ones. Yeah, nice. definitely, yeah. What are you up The big ride again. Yeah. I'm determined to get one over three pounds. Okay. So I'm trying, fingers crossed. <laughs> Big bunch of worms normally work best for them. Yeah. But I've got a good chance of getting a perch as well, haven't I? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it's full. Come down this side of the boat if you want. Yeah, carry on. I'd rather see one come out. Yeah, carry on. Get me now anyway. Oh, that's a nice size. Oh, you should be netting that. <laughs> I'll get it, eh? Nice rod. Yeah. There you go, everyone. I've got the rod. There you go, everyone. Hang you can on. see a rod, spin, look. Spin it around and show it properly. Look, come on. Look. There you go, look. I thought I'll show you a rod. No one else can, can they? Not yet. There you, you go. Wait. I'm waiting for a proper one, you see. There you go, Mr. <laughs> Brain Man. Say a rod lot. There you go. Nice one. You're wondering what we do when we're live on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I've got a channel on YouTube, I do. Oh, there you go. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Get off swan. Swan. That's around your neck, swan. 
Leave the line, let the line go. Let it out, you go under it. If you pull it under this bit, that's going to give more time to get out. Try now. I've learned that because I used to do it when I was younger. I used to try to do it and then that used to hang around his neck and that just a bit. Yeah, that worked. That's nice one. I had a bite before that, which was a nine. There. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting little knocks, and I had a bite. I've learned that from years ago. Like, if you go up that, the round deck, it's gonna get stressed. That's gonna go. Yeah. And that's gonna go. And the hook's gonna go in. If you let down, where do you move away? That makes sense. So I've had a couple of bites, everyone, but I still ain't had a fish yet. I'm not getting. The... What they're doing there, is that what that chap was doing the other day at Neat's Head? Yeah. Yeah. But then he had a lead drop. Yeah. With a, little, with a little spinner up the top or a little yeah. soft lure thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's called drop shot. How you doing, Angler? Bob by the water, how you doing? Steven's bagging up, he's doing good. Is that bang holiday weekend or something? No. No. No, so I got my. Fish on everyone. Bait big baits are paid off again. That feels big. He says, and that would be a tiny little one that come up you watch. No, it's not as big as I thought it was. <laughs> but it is a rod. Target species. That's what we come out to get. That's not massive, but it's not teeny. I see you come past, I thought, go on, sit there, you carry on, I thought, 
<laughs> Poor little fish is going crazy on me. It's now on the mat underneath me. It's trying to hold up for you, but it's going mental. Here we go. Just a rod. Lovely red fins. That's nice golden fish. So that's not a two pounder, but it's still a nice fish. Let's see if we can get some more. Cheers, Jake. Lovely colours, yeah. That's what we're trying to get, but I want some bigger ones, really. But I'm quite happy to start with that. Stephen's landed some nice roach as well. For some reason, they're not taking the worm today. They want the sweet corn. Which is a pain, because I normally get the bigger ones on worm. But they're not well, taking... Oh, you got yeah, I've got some, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I normally go on the worm just in case I can get a perch as well then. But I'm after a rod, so... I've got the corn in there. I've got like a root in there. Yes. What? <laughs> a bit weird, isn't it? They come about a hundred swans, everyone. If you want to see some swans, I can't cast obviously while they're there. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. And that's where we're casting everyone. Oh, you don't want me on there. Well, they're all on double, but at least I've got a different crew of you. Well, yeah, so they've got different crew. I'm just sitting back like this today, everyone. Just sitting back waiting for them ride. Double sweet corn, big worm baits, that sort of stuff. Oh, okay. Are you getting stressed, Jay? Are you moderating loads of people today? Oh. <laughs> oh, poor old Jay. You can coop, old boy. Oh, oh, Mr. Swan. <laughs> Get off my line. Get off my lawn. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's annoying because I had a bite as well. I might still have the bite, you never know. Okay, Leon, cheers for popping in. Fish on, everybody. Fish on. Fish off. <laughs> oh, really? 
that's not fun, is it? And that keep happening. There's definitely fish out there anyway. No problem, Jay. I'm gonna go after this one. You, in fact, make it easier going going the other ones, mate. There's not too much crazy happening in there at the moment. We're not getting too many bots and that sort of stuff. I'm getting a bite of cast now, which is good. It's what we want. Got to bite again, everyone. Here we go. Oh, I might have missed that one. I think I did. That's annoying. <laughs> Definitely a bite. This one off you get. There's a ranger bloke to come around and check your licenses and stuff. You don't seem to be stopping at the moment. Quite ready. Oh, we're getting. Whoa, no, 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 not Mr. Swan. Oh, we had Mr. Swan hooked then. <laughs> but it came off, we were lucky. No hook behind net. going on there, it's a bit crazy. <laughs> We're getting lots of bites and not hooking up right a second. Just plonking it down the middle of the river, letting it sink. Well, again already, I can't keep one on the bottom long enough to do anything. Oh, fish on. <laughs> this one feels a little bit better, feels like one in right, everyone. Yeah. Yep, it's a rod, target species. Might just better. Could be out of hand, actually. I might just. Oh, come here, Fizzy. So I'm catching what I'm after, which is good. Bear with me. I'm just trying to hold it up. It's a better sign than this one. There you go. 
Can we get the fins to show? Like the old red fins and gold. Whee! <laughs> Try again. There it is, Mr. Rudd. Lovely job. I do like catching these because they're lovely colours on them. They don't get much better than that, do they? I'll make a nice thumbnail. I think I'll go for that for a thumbnail. Right, let's get it back and get a few more. We're getting the target we come down for, which is cool. Yeah, they can be a fight. I've had this one on before. I've had a seagull take off on me before. Taking a bit of mackerel. Nah, it's fine, Jay. If you got to do what you got to do, mate. Um, there's plenty of people about to look after things. If you're busy, I'm always on, and a lot of other people are not on. So, you know, I'm on every week. So just share it around and do what you can, mate. Do your best. That's all you can do. When Stephen come back, we'll wind him up and say we had a three pounder. Don't know where he's gone. He's gone home, he's taken forever. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gone to the toilets or something like that. Maybe at McDonald's to get hot chocolate or something. Not really sure. But we don't mind, we'll just carry on catching fish. But we're beating him now. He's had roach, but we're after the rod. <laughs> and every fish I've had has been a rod. I think Steve is just after whatever he can catch, but I'm actually specifically going for the rod. As you probably saw in the title. Yeah, no problem, Jay. Just saying, if you need a bit of extra space or whatever, I'm quite happy to sit back and let you, you know, go off and do other stuff. Because I take up a lot of YouTube time for the moderators. Yeah, it's lovely and it watching the old swans and stuff so I can show you that way I can I'll move you around a little bit and around the swim so you've got all different things to see I'll come down here one day on my boat we'll we'll go up and down this river and have a good look around shall we does that sound good everyone If you like the sound of that, I'll try and make it happen next week at some point in between work and stuff. Cheers, Andy. I'm getting a few nice ride now. Getting a bike most cast now as well, which is cool. That's what I'll do then, Jay. That's what you want to see. I want to see it all myself as well, so. I don't actually know what's down past either side of the bridges, you know, further down, so it'll be nice to go and have a look. And we'll probably find some new spots as well. Yeah, Barry, I think that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Let's go for a little wander. We could go and find out where all these other boats are going, but I think they're going up to a broad up that way. If I make sure I've got loads of batteries and stuff with me, we can go right down the river and onto the main broad and have a look on the broad as well. Because I ain't been on them with my boat before, so... Andy Tigger, I'm trying really hard. I've got big baits on. I'm not sitting on with no little baits or anything. I'm, I'm trying for that big one. 
Here we go, here we go. I'm getting loads of bites. Sweet corn seemed to be the one today for some reason. Well, I can see the water's got a bit of colour in it, so we're not struggling with clear water or anything down this end, which is good. The places we've been lately have didn't have clear water and it's made it harder. Yeah, I could do that, Jay. I could always just take a rod and a few baits. Or maybe a rod and a spinner or something like that. Yeah, it'll be all right. As long as I've got enough battery. If I put the motor up on the high settings, I can pretty much blast through most stuff. I wouldn't want to go out to sea, but I think I'll be on the broads in most places. No problem, Jay. Right, I've had a couple of bites and stops, so we'll have a rebate. I know we've still got bait. Surprisingly, let's have a recasting. Well, you gone home? No, I've got to go to my car. I've got to go to the money. What? I've got to go to the Deadwood, Rockbridge and Royce. Uh, 12 pounds. I've got to shut you up and get there. Uh, the bank house, I'm flying. I went to Barclays, I saw Donna again. Oh, right. <laughs> I've had some more rud. Have you? That's all I've had is rud. Well, um, I had a couple of nice ones. Well, um, and a smaller one. Andy Tigger, yeah, that was a bit different. <laughs> they were big waves. I'm glad I had a bit, of, a little bit of power on that boat. That's not in. You need to cancel it. Or put it on hold or whatever. Well, you know what I've got? There you go, 37 grand. Remain 37 pounds. But it wouldn't go through? It ain't going through. That might be their machine. Well, we went to park, they wouldn't let me take money off. And I got a remaining overdraft 37 pounds. 
Try again later. Wave one side on back. Uh, Oh, here we go again, everyone. Look like a ride bike again. You can sort of tell how the ride bike compared to the brooch and stuff. Enjoy your fishing and worry about it later. <laughs> Sit back and catch some more fish. You ain't got no bait on. I was only going to stay till dark today. Sort of a bonus session. Oh, really? I think I missed that one, everyone. I had a good bite. Still got bait on. That's weird. Like I say, at least we're getting ride what we came to get. I think we've had, what, four now, haven't we? Yeah, there you go. And then someone else before me got a load of money out to pay for the That might have run out though. No, money didn't there. That's just like a thing. I can't do it. No, the machine, I mean. I was going to go into Royce and get a look at the tiny little thing and then get back. Because that's that way. Yeah. Oh, I've got all the time. Yeah, Donald and Sam, they're having it. Yeah, Richard's on there 24-7, I can see that. Nice to see you there, Richard. Yeah, I ain't seen him. I've seen him a little while. Oh, I saw you said, like, now we've got problems with PT or something. I think it's gone down to get down. So I think it's gone to speak to the PT. But, fish on everyone. I think, um, Wolfdale's out live today, sea fishing, but yeah. obviously we don't get on, so I'm not watching that one, but I'm sure Richard and that will be. So they've got to try and support every channel, haven't they? Which they do a good job at doing. I wouldn't call her Donna anymore, I'll call her Miss Perfect. She's perfect. Oh yeah, Miss Perfect. That's what we'll have to call her, I reckon. Yeah. Miss Perfect with a minion, that's it. Yeah. I'm very surprised how many boats are about today. Yeah. The old boat. I bet the old boat yards are loving it, huh? Sea Bell, hello Caroline, how you doing? Yeah, we're down Roxham. Loads to see, loads of scenery. I'm down here with Stephen W. Trips and his live as well if you want to go on there. And we're catching Rudd and Roach at the moment. Show everyone the fish, here you go. 
<laughs> Look at that for service. <laughs> Steven's got a nice rod. Just give him a hand to land it. We seem to have a fair few rod in front of us while it looks things, everyone. He's got his net, I know he's got my net, it's in the car, but you've been seeing the ones I've been landing. Cheers. Yeah, he's going a bit fast, isn't he? Right, chaps. These are, they were fishing over there. They got little engines on their canoes. That's a good idea, isn't it? Oh, we've got a bite again, everyone. We're getting lots of bites. I'm glad they're all these red as well. Oh, you got COVID every Caroline. That's not nice, is it? Seem to be doing the rounds at the moment. Everyone seems to be getting it. I hope you get better soon. The only good thing about that is you've got to stay in now, so you'll have to sit back and watch the videos and the lives. <laughs> Give yourself a bit of a rest. Oh, no. yeah, I hope you get better soon, though. Hello again, Richard. You bouncing back with the forwards between all the channels. <laughs> Must be hard work to keep bouncing around all the different ones. And try and keep up with what everyone's saying and all that sort of stuff. Oh, Mr. Swan, come on. <laughs> it's the only thing here, everyone. You, your line can be a pain with the swans around. If you dip it under the water and just let it go a bit, that seemed to work out. We did have a bite, let's hope we've still got a fish there. Oh, that's good, I'm glad I can help you with that. So you sit back with it. Get your court around you and have a hot chocolate or something and sit back and watch the swans going past. You can dream of when you're next down here on your boat. <laughs> Okay, my geese. They're flying there this time.
Yeah, Caroline, that's actually getting quite busy on the board. There's a lot of boats about at the moment. I've noticed that all week. Everywhere we've been, we've been out three or four times in the last week and there's been boats everywhere. That van sound like it's got problems. Huh? That van. Even has the van. Now, if I had my part, I could have um, transferred the money into my part, but I ain't got it in, so it didn't work. I know we're back. Oh, now it's like a headless chick with backs, of course. I've gone down so I've got a big bit of fun to take my money out of that. What are you on about, Jay? I was going to call you just for a... Oh, you know what it is, Richard, don't you? You got rid of the virus and you passed it to your computer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can't go on it for seven days. You can't keep away from it. <laughs> yeah, cool. Thank you, Mary. Please. I don't need two oh. big frames. I'll just catch a little bit of brooch. No, I'm getting thumping bites, but... I know it should come this way a bit now, we're going to fish out and not stand over there. I can go that way. <laughs> now you're fishing over there. Yeah. So I know it's fine, you're fishing over there. I'll just... You'd rather fish ahead. Halfway through, yeah. I'm not a big... I'm just glad to ride it down there. Because that's what I've come for. So we're going nice big juicy worm bait like that, everyone. <laughs> See if we can get one of them big, big rods. Yeah. Is that bad? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't mean to. It's this tree. I don't care if you fish air. I'm there, so you can fish out there. I don't care about that. I took that wrong. I think you're fishing there. Now you catch fish over the sea because you're now finally this way behind that restaurant. I just think that's where they are. Yeah. Fish on everyone. The bigger one I had a little while ago was actually near the other bank, but... Oh, oh straight away. Look. I think what it is, they've got a problem where you can't use your card, whatever, in the shop, and that's on the Yeah, it could be. Really? Fish on? No, I don't think it is. Oh. 
coming in weird today. Heavy. Yeah. Oh, see, I've done it again. That's what I'm doing, so I'm fishing on here. Yeah. You've got all that space, don't know you've got a lot of space. Oh, I think we're going to get a bite. Here come a hundred swans, everyone. <laughs> There's always swans there. Walk about, Richard. <laughs> Steve is attacking me with his flow. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, there's certainly a lot of swans. They're up and down because everyone's feeding them. Okay, Angler, cheers for coming in. Even into a fish. Just like a roach. Yep, another nice size one. A couple of geese now coming through the picture. Not sure what they're saying, but I think they're talking to you lot on the live. Now the dog's talking.
What the hell is that? That was a big fish. <laughs> it didn't look like a pike though. Something rolled. That probably was a pike, but. That could have been a big rod or something, I suppose. I don't know if you saw that on camera, a big old fish just swirled out in front of us. Good luck with them getting uh, through that caravan, but they didn't. Probably number 13 was one. Oh, really? Oh, my God, it's great. What's going on? It's like boot sick. I've got to take Couple of days of good weather and everyone's out. No, nah, you know what I mean. It's not freezing, is it? Not like it was last night. Hey, it's going in. <laughs> Stephen's hooked his scarf. They're going out on the last, next cast. <laughs> We've got a bite again, everyone. Don't know how well you can see the tip of my rod on, in the thing. I can see it, but I can see a stain. You probably see it better on your screens. Go. Fish on everyone. Oh, this feels better. Oh, this is actually giving us a good fight. This could be a good fish. Right, just could be a rod just going crazy. Someone sent out the fish, please. I think it's a rod. I'll be chuffed if it is. Because it feels good. Oh, that's not as big as I thought it was, but it's still a rod. Yeah, I did. 
It's going crazy. I had one twice size that a while ago. That's still a nice fish. Yeah. Come on, up you come. No, it's not bad. Not bad. It's what will come after, let's put it that way. And that's all I've caught so far, which is good. All red. I think I've had six red now. What's there, everyone? Everyone packed up. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, Mr. Rudd. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. We're getting a few, aren't we? That's what I come down here for. That's all I come down here for, really. Lovely. I'm happy with that. Let's get it back in. And let's see if we can find one, one even bigger. One person fishing now. Yeah, you're nice. right about that. They, they, a lot of them don't fish, but a lot of them do as well. They can fish straight out of their back garden or their front garden, whatever it is on the river. That's why just lost fish out of their bedroom window if they want to. <laughs> what? I've got someone's line. Just took someone's. I don't know if you can see that. I took someone's braids, so I'm going to pull it in and see what it is. Might be a spinner on the end of it, could be. No. <laughs> that was basically just a load of line like that. So we'll get rid of that. Stick it in the bag, put that in the bin. And we'll get some more bait on this feeder. Look at this, look, lovely, yummy, muddy ground bait. Bit of worm, not too big this time. Just gonna see what it does, see if we make hooking them any easier. We'll go from there. All right in the center of the river at the moment, we're getting these rod. Joe said, Joe said, can you please move your camera a bit because you can see the ring thing on the side of your camera. I think you know you can take that light off during the day if you want to. I think so. I think you can unscrew it and just put the other thing on top. Oh, oh, hold on. again everyone. Thick and fast now they're coming to this ground bait. Oh lovely bite. Yep fish on here we go again. Hopefully it's a rud. It feels like it. It's fighting really good. No? Oh, it's a rod again. We're still keeping on the species. That's what we want. Ooh. Don't know what's going on around here, but something's happening. Ooh, I'm trying to hold it, everyone. 
Lovely jubbly. Got all its fins in our for us. Look. Lovely. We're definitely on his road today, aren't we? And that's all what I come down to get, as you know. And that's what I'm getting. Try and hold that one. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. All right, let's get it back in the water. And let's see if we can get some more. Thought I'd get on his road today. I don't know, I just had a feeling. I had a few hard sessions in the last few days. And I thought, right, I'm going off them rud. Big baits, ground bait, and it's working. And believe it or not, I put me rod down there to show you that fish I've now got a perch on from putting it down the side here. <laughs> Didn't get it after this one, but. So, Mr. Perch. <laughs> For just down the side of the wall here. So I put the rod down to show you the other fish. Not really what we're after, but I'll still show you. Mr. Perch. We. Oh, Joe, this is now a week or gone. Can't thank you. What's behind me? Yeah, Alright everyone, let's keep these rod coming. Yeah, I did that in the middle of um just wake it up, sort of setting open and everything. You're the first one to say anything after you were over in it. Yeah, I got loose. About like ten, eleven, twelve, one of them. Is that about two? What? About two. About two. <laughs> I think I'm on um, seven or eight now, I think, Rod. Above and beyond fishing, how you doing? Cheers, Lunga. Thanks, Andy Digger. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, Mr. Rod. They're lovely, aren't they? Say, you went to that, to that friend and say, oh, you'll be out of five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what a drunk bloke. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not. I first met him down at Stullum. <laughs> On the oh. end. That was the same day you come up. Oh, uh, what day? Oh, yeah, that was the same bloke. Oh, I remember that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Now I'm going to Yeah, you do it over as best as you. No, no, I prefer the way you said, but that's hard to do. Yeah, that way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You'll have to upgrade to one of these one day. Uh, uh, above and beyond, I've had, I think that's over eight or nine rod now, up to about a pound. Maybe just over, maybe pound and a quarter, that big one. But we're out there on big baits on the ledger. Got to run the ledger going and we've got a big bunch of worms on at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that won't work with the light off it because the one I use over my unit is one of them with the light off it. Sammy's right up Scotland though.
That's fighting well. It looks like Stephen's into a rut. It's going well. Oh, he's actually got his net out this time. <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we? See him bringing this one in. Oh, nice size roach. Very nice size roach. Give us a sneak peek of that one. That's a nice roach, isn't it? So give us a sneak peek. That's a nice roach, that one. You might get the green, but I get the root, all right? Look at that, everyone. That's a nice big roach, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> you want to see it properly pop onto his channel and have a look? Stephen W. Trips. He's live right next to me as well. <laughs> yeah, that's probably cut on that train. I'll <laughs> we'll see you a nice little thank you video this morning. Cheers for that. <laughs> oh, you know, drink me rods going mental. Like. Fish on, everyone. I we'll think we worked this out now, haven't we? Also, I'm getting a bit of grind out on the bottom down there now, so that's sort of helping. It's a shame you can't see me playing these in, really. Oh no, it's not a ride. My first no, first not a ride this time. But it's not a bad size roach, so I'm happy with that. Oh, that's a good size roach. Oh. It's absolutely covered in black spot, which is a shame, but. Mr. Roach, it's a bit rough and covered in black spot and all sorts, but he took my bait, so he's feeding, still feeding all right. Not a bad size. We'll show the other side, shall we? Because it's a bit rough on that side. He's been caught by a pike or cormorant or something like that, but yeah, not a bad size roach. Dropping back in. Let's we'll see if we can get a few more. Cheers, everyone who's in and enjoying all the fun. I'm trying to turn this camera around with yucky fingers. <laughs> Wipe my hands on the towel. Yeah, lovely size, isn't they? We've got it all happening out here now. We're starting to get the swim fed up a bit and it's becoming a bite of cast, which is quite exciting. The only trouble is, it's getting towards two o'clock and we've probably only got two hours of light left. So let's get a load more, shall we? <laughs> yeah. I think me and Stephen are going to have a good day today. I'm going to try a cast without putting any ground bait on this time and just see what happens. How you doing, Sammy? Who biked down and met me? Uh, it was Stephen who's sitting right next to me. What? He biked 20 miles. You've just seen the video where you come and met us at Stullum the first time. Oh, who's that? <laughs> uh, above and Beyond, new channel. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's been out quite a few times with us now. And yeah, we've caught all sorts of fish together and uh, been all over the place.
Yeah. <laughs> I've got a new Richard in here now. Walkabout yeah, walkabout Richard, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just having a hot chocolate everyone, so cheers everyone. You watch me get a flying bite now, you watch. Are you fishing low stuff now, are you? Yep, 50 whiten. Who's that? Four dabs, three cod, and a bass. That sounds like a really good session, above and beyond. Especially three cod, that's a bit unusual. Whereabouts are you on North Beach? That's either going to be North Beach or Tramps Alley. Or oh, let's think. Fish on everyone. Pakefield maybe. I wonder if what any other spots would produce cod. Tramps, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I was only talking about that yesterday with Andy Tigger and we were saying about having to go down there. Have to put the freshwater gear away for a little while and get the sea gear out. Thing is, I like catching these red. <laughs> That's a nice spot to sit at. Oh, look at this boat doing about 150 through the water. You know, speed on there, mister. That's going to splash up the sides. We're here, get ready. Tidal waves coming in, everyone. <laughs> look at all these boats shaking everywhere like way that's what i do when they go through too fast everyone all the boats go smashing into each other that's why there's limits the water comes over the edge obviously luckily we're not a high tide at the moment but Oh, what are you putting that channel up for, Jay? What? That's a dodgy one, that one. That Richard Jarvis is a dodgy channel. Yeah, he's dodgy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one's a good one, Jay. <laughs> it's like a car one. Yeah. That's what I do, though. That's what I mean. A new one. Straight away. We'll have part four of the car one coming up this week for everyone. Probably part five as well. Probably sold before that happens, but yeah. <laughs> I've already made the videos, I'm just trying to upload them. Yeah, I saw you doing it. It's a pain, <laughs> that takes so long. I've done sometimes over an hour as well. Yeah. So my three hour fishing ones, like sea fishing ones and that, sometimes take a week. <laughs> I'll 
Hello KC, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. So even then do another nice ropes next to me. Let's say pop onto the channel if you want to see him because he's live as well. Right, we didn't get a bike this cast. So I'm guessing we need to put a ground bait in because I've done a cast with no ground bait that time. Yeah, I can get them if I put Tweaker on, but I've been getting a few of the bigger ones on a bunch of worms and some ground bait. Above me on who's fishing, are you um, filming your session? So I'd love to see some cod and bass and all sorts caught in a mixture like that. That don't happen very often now. Especially around here. Fish on it, I saw that, that was a rod. I could see it in underwater. <laughs> You will be this year at some point. We'll do some sessions, get some nice big carp. I actually know a place where you've probably seen it on my channel where you can actually catch carp as quickly as they're catching them like now. But they're like between five and 20 pounds. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's a good place to see fish. Isle of Wight. Yeah, we went on Aldi. Yeah. We ride a 6 seat thing. Like I said, before the winter, I couldn't find the key. I couldn't find the key. I do dump them in the bin. Oh, what? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. There's something everywhere. It's all right, we're all done it. I've lost keys before. Yeah, Andy lost the keys to his, um, he had a Mercedes van at one point. And he had to have that all redone and that weren't very cheap. That's a hard one, that one, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the other people down the river, everyone, but me and Stephen are catching. Even though they're all saying there's nothing about, but. No, there's a few people. Stand up, you see. There's a few down there if you stand up. <laughs> oh, really? That was a good roach as well. You weren't concentrating. No, I was bringing it into a morning. I can't see. Oh, you mean right in the corner Actually, they're gone now. She bought lots of it. See what I mean? Yeah, they're gone. There's only one chap. Thank you. I know. I had to find a ticket off. There's that one there as well. There is one right down there, near that white sign. There's two people down there. But there's more than that earlier. Oh, a lot more, yeah. 
They must have been fishing. Oh yeah, someone with rod, I've seen that. Yeah. I, oh, think... I walked around, that's why they ain't got all that box and all that. No, and it's just... Someone... Oh yeah, so I've seen fish, yeah, I've seen a box, um, the seats in the store. Like, the They're just casting out spinners and stuff. Yeah, I remember Andy. Yeah, still nice to see some coddling about, that's what it's all about. Fish on one, now again. Sounds good, I'll check it out. It's nice um, to see that many sea fish about. We went to Lowestoft uh, no two or three weeks ago and really struggled to get a bite, even off Whiten. But hopefully they'll come back through now. But cod, bass, sounds good to me. <laughs> Stephen next to me is going to have some gear off me, some of my stuff I bought before I got this gear. And he's going to come sea fishing as well. So whatever he catches is going to be PBs every time for a little while, which will be good. If we had a snake then. <laughs> no, I got called out enough when I was in somewhere. I was going to some of the doctors and people not being funny, they haven't made the same three pops as like Yeah. Jump. <laughs> I know and you're right. Just those terms. Yeah, I didn't get a good reputation for talking about it. No. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I had a look, did you, Andy? That's nice, is it? Fish. Really? I just missed an awesome bite, everyone. Don't know how. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. I've only got one worm now. They're becoming little pains now. What's going on? I think I'll catch a couple of big right again while you're gone. Gonna go for a little bit of a cocktail this time, everyone. Got a small bunch of worms on and a bit of sweet corn. Obviously, we filled up the feeder. Straight away, look at that, everyone. Literally Sorry, just hit the bottom. <laughs> we got a much better bite than that, there, didn't we? Stephen's got a nice roach again. It's definitely the roach side, that side, isn't it? Oh, 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 there we go. Fish on, and we got a swan going through the line, but we got a fish. Oh, oh this is. It's alright, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Juicy Lucy, yeah. <laughs> that worked, that worked literally within one minute, that fish on. I just put sweet corn and worm on cocktail. Uh, 
And what have we got ourselves? Rudd. Darby Jubbly. He's come out rudd fishing and he's catching rudd. Can't be bad, can it? Oh, just about liftable. Shouldn't have done really, but. These hooks are doing me well, they're hooking everything I want them to hook. Everyone. Missing a couple of bites, but that's fishing. Ah. Stephen's dropping a few now, Why you got some more hook on. Here comes another one, everyone. Three. <laughs> that's not having it, that's going crazy. Hang on. Here we go, look at that, that'll be jubbly. Another lovely rod, lovely colours. They're really good condition, these rod. I don't think many people catch them. Well, not, not many people know they're there, I don't think. So that's pretty cool. Let's get it back in and see if we can get some more. Because we're getting plenty, I think we're about over 10 now. Which is pretty cool. Should we try the same again then, everyone? Because that obviously worked then, didn't it? Little bunch of worms and sweep one at the same time. Not going too crazy, just a couple of worms and a bit of sweep one like that. Yeah, they look awesome, don't they? Nice gold bodies, bright red fins. That's why I love catching them. I thought I'd have to travel down to the fins and places like that for that sort of stuff, but no, I'm glad they're here. The only trouble I've got here is I have to put my right over the other side of the fence and cast under a tree, but that's working. I'm doing all right. I'm getting fish. I have to bring your choppers down and just chop outside off. <laughs> Alright, so we just hit the water again, everyone. Let's see how quick we can get stuff going again. John Whitehouse, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Come in and join some fun. 37 thumbs up everyone, thanks very much. Eight thumbs up, thanks everyone. Can we get a bite within a minute again? No problem John, go ahead. Drop a question in, that's what it's all for. The only thing I ask if you are asking a question is hit the thumbs up. <laughs> Are there tension the broads? There certainly are tension the broads. Oh, yeah. I'll ask Stephen a bit, he might know a bit more. Is it, where's the tension the broads? Is, there are about, but not that common, are they? No. I'd say Marth and Pitts like quarter a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, Marth and Pitts um, is a good place to go for tench. On the broads. Yeah. But I would say probably the River Ant along that area, you probably get some. Um, um, on the fern, the bure. They are about, you wouldn't catch loads of them, but you'll get the old one. And that one's on the which is tension up with it. In the gibbon, yeah. Yeah. So on that side, I think one piece they go ahead and hide tension or something. Yeah, that, that used to be really good for the tension. And bream. We used to go down there, that was a long time ago now, probably 20 years ago now, but we used to go down there with a couple of chaps. We used to put four keep nets out and fill them up with bream overnight. And I'm on about like eight, nine pounders every cast. That was crazy. They ain't like that now though. They're hard to catch if you don't know where you're trying to catch them. That's the trouble. <laughs> I mean, if you put worm baits out and sweet corn baits out like we are now, you've got a good chance of getting one if you're lucky, you know, if they're there. Same with the carp and the broads, really. They are about, but they're not easy to track down.
You're getting bites again already. Oh, I missed this one out of the way. Oh, I missed that one. Really? <laughs> I'm missing clonk and bites there, everyone. Well, I'm not complaining. That's literally a bite in 30 seconds of it hitting the water, which is awesome. <laughs> Just very strange down here, you don't get many big bream. You get a few skimmers now and again. That's mainly decent sized ropes and rod, which is nice to catch. Definitely. Yeah, carp are hard to get. I do know a few places around the board, so carp. And I'll be showing them in, in the summer once I've had a good go for them. I've seen a few come out of Hickland Broad up to sort of seven, eight pound, but I don't actually know where there's some 30 plus, you know, really big carp, but they don't get caught in the winter. They don't get caught in the summer very often, to be honest, but I've been told a few spots and I've done some research and I'll be checking it out. Yeah, pretty much down here, bream, roach, rud, perch, rough. Okay, so you, that sounds good, there you go, there's a, there's a spot to get some tench, down in Cambridgeshire. Swangy Lakes used to be full of really good tench. I used to get tench up to ten pound there, but you know, and have really good mornings of them. But I think most of them, most are gone now. Alton Broads is very hard to cut. Yeah, yeah, it's more of a brain spot. Oh, lovely bite again, everyone. Oh no, not again. We done. You float still there, quick. <laughs> um. Talk to the end, do a bit of pole fishing. <laughs> You're doing alright, you're getting some nice fish. Yeah, I'm using ground baits, yeah, ground bait with all different particles and stuff in. A few flavourings, sweet corn maggots, bit of a mixture really. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go on, take it properly. Can you mesh um, Oh, fish on, this feels like a good fish. She's, um, off the way, that word, or drunk. This one's fighting quite nicely. You don't realise if she gets drunk, but not what, you know what she Yeah, there's big bream in here when you can find them. <laughs> you in know the broads. What I do to her when she's in the summer you'll get them, but not in the winter so much. I've got on her forehead health. Oh. Oh, let's not lose this one. Another rug coming up, everyone. Good size as well. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I've got a feeling. So everyone, I've got a bit of a problem now. I'm just still so going back to the last one. Oh, oh my god. Bear with me, I'm just unhooking it. There, mate.
Mr. Wright, everyone. Um, still getting plenty of these. Let's get it back, see if we can get a bigger one. I don't want the same thing to happen like the other day. Oh, we're tangled up. I've got so much line inside my bar alarm. It's going to take a while to bear them out. Another juicy bait going out, everyone. Nice cocktail again. Yeah, they are lovely, aren't they? Yeah, get some lovely rod. Yeah, I think we're on about 15 now. They're quite a few. Had one decent roach as well. But we're mainly going for the rod, really. Cheers, Bob and Beyond. Going back now. See me right there on the edge of the picture. Just level you up a bit. It's quite hard, hard to see the quiver tip on a overcast day like this. Here we go, bite again. It's not taking long to get bites now. Definitely got them going down here. Had a small perch, but I ain't really been going for the perch. I mean, obviously, we've got a good chance of getting one, but... Hmm. Might have missed that one, actually. That's not good. Yeah, I did. Surprised me. <laughs> that was a good pie, wasn't it? It's 
Let's try again. <laughs> Cheers for that, above and beyond. What's your actual name so we don't have to keep calling you that? <laughs> I'm Carl, if you don't know. When we get sort of near dusk, I'll have a little go for a couple of perch. Because I've had quite a few right now. But obviously I'll still want to catch a really big one if possible. Yeah, it's getting that way. Just getting that bait down there and... Here we go again, bite again. See if Andy's there, see if he answers that, but if not, I'll tell you in a sec. He was out fishing with us yesterday, so I'll let him tell you. Oh, nice to meet you then, Daniel. Just easier than saying above and beyond fishing every time. I can just say Daniel. I'll say I'm Carl and that's Stephen next door. See him's got a rod. There you go, Daniels. Andy Tigger's got a video going out tonight at six. Could have done that a bit later, Andy Tigger, so we could all watch it. <laughs> you blob guy. Oh, here we go, here we go. Literally a bite of cast now. Seeing as you saw when I walked in, everyone said they're not catching nothing. That's crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, no. Really? I think I actually missed that. The bite like that. Like, I don't know how well you saw that, but that should be on my hook. That was a lovely bite. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to be a nice rod, but I didn't actually hook up, which is crazy. And your rod tip's doing that. <laughs> maybe we've got a, full, a few smaller ones down there, or maybe that's some roach pecking at it. Either way, we missed that one. We're in a minute, we'll just see a view of uh, the river. I'll just go check out one. It really is not going to be <laughs> John Wilson style. <laughs> I'll do my best to catch a few fish. Stephen's the king of catching a whole net full of fish though. You go over and watch him. He sort of pulls them out one, you know, one after the other. Whereas I sort of sit on the bigger baits and wait for a little bit bigger ones. Between the two of us, we catch quite a few. And you get to see a bit of everything, which makes both channels really good. What's that then? Another two cheeky questions. What are they then? Nothing cheeky about it. You can ask questions. That's fine. Uh, I couldn't answer the boat hire one. All the boat hires are quite expensive, to be honest. It's cheap, cheaper to buy your own boat. <laughs> it honestly is. Yeah. Yeah, you can hire a boat for sort of between 50 and 60 pound a day. But if you add that up for two weeks, so you come down there for two weeks, you could buy a boat for that. Yeah, you can get a five, 600 pound tender boat. And that'll do you quite easy for a week's fishing down here on a holiday. 
and you could probably get your money back afterwards. If it's free over in that realm, but that's cheaper as well. Yeah, obviously if there's a group of you, then that work out a lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah. 10, 15 quid each, just, you know, it's not bad to get some food in there for the day, away you go. Cheers, Daniel, appreciate that. I'll subscribe to you back as soon as I get home as well. And I'll go through my channel and all the new people that come in, I'll subscribe to. Yep, Stephen's got a YouTube channel. It's Stephen W. Trips. He's actually live right now if you want to go on there. Give him a subscribe as well, please. He's quite new compared to me. I've been going sort of a year and a half now. Whereas he's been going a month or so. <laughs> So he's, he's doing pretty well. He's had some big nets of fish. He's got some walk-arounds to go and have a look at and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. If you spend the, the money on a half-decent boat, you can take it out anytime you want instead of just taking it out for a week. So you say two grand, three grand for a big boat. A week is crazy, isn't it? I know they're expensive boats and they've got to look after them and all that sort of stuff, but... Oh, that was a good fish, wasn't it? Stephen just had a nice fish on and it come off on the way in, which is a pain. Mr. Wart's eyes just put Stephen's link up for you so you can go straight to the channel. Oh, that's nice of you, madam. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, God Bites, how you doing? Yeah, I'm on so many channels, that's it's hard to keep up. I think I've got like, I don't know, 750 odd channels now, I think, fishing channels on my YouTube. That's hard to keep up with everyone, but <laughs> I'll do my best. You can always see me about in the chats and stuff in the evenings and stuff. And I'll get out at least two or three times a week. Yeah, if, every, if some of my blue people in there can drop all the links to everyone in the chat. Oh, wow. Above and beyond is just subscribe to you, Stephen. Thank you. You're saying thank you. It's just on a tangle on his reel at the moment. And then he'll be back out there again. Um, I'm sitting here chatting away to everyone. I think I've missed about 10 bites, so we probably ain't got the bait on. <laughs> but I'm quite happy to sit and chat to everyone. I enjoy that. We're all doing the fishing at the same time. Oh, here we go. We've still got a bite. Oh my god, why am I missing bites? What's going on here? I've missed three bites in a row now. Something's not right. Ah, uh, oh, I now know why. It's getting a bit dull. I hope it's not going to rain, everyone, but. The worm had sort of wrapped round and gone round on itself about 10 times and that was basically marking the bar with the hook so I weren't hooking nothing. It's too much of a bunch of worms, I think. Hi Tasha, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm now going to go back to that other cocktail what we had before. That's all right. She's got a husband back. She's got it out. <laughs> 
I'm going to go over a couple of worms here. Probably the ones I've got left are quite small now. I if I've got another tub in my bag. Oh, I've got a couple here. Wee! What are you doing, swans? That means I can cast over by Oh look, they're going to have fun on the old boat. That's a big old engine for the broads, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that would launch down the broads at some serious mile an hour. It's more of a sea boat, I would say. <laughs> There you go, Daniel, what do you reckon then? Nice juicy worm bait. A bit of sweet corn as well. Slide that piece of worm down from up the top there as well. Let's see what we can get on that one. Let's get some ground bait in the feeder. We've got 39 thumbs up. Can we see if we can get ourselves up to 50? I'd appreciate that. I've got nine thumbs up. We've all got to start somewhere. Oh, thank you. No, you're alright, you're doing good. I just funny, you think. I got to get to 50, I was able to get to 10. <laughs> I can remember when my freshwater stuff didn't really do much. And the sea stuff done loads, but it's now starting to pick up. The more people that find the channel, you know. It's not sea stuff. Yeah. Right, right, we're now about to both cast out. Let's see if we can get a bite first. I think we know who's going to get it, but... <laughs> oh, I dropped that one a little bit short, but I'm still going to try it. Still down the centre of the river. I've got a on this time, so... What's handy, that bus on the way here, that yeah. USB that was all the way here. Charged it right up, yeah. Have you noticed I've been on all day, look? No lead, no power back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that battery pack on the back of my phone is brilliant. Look. What's that, the first one? Stevens, bring one in. It's going well. I'll turn you sideways, you can see it coming in. I'll be jubbly, Mr. Rudd. He's gonna just attempt to lift it. Just about got, got just about got away with it. He got a maggot, yeah. They're taking everything in, aren't they? And I'm getting them on worms, wheat corn. Yeah, I'm using a 10. <laughs> oh, fruit. Forty-one thumbs up, everyone. We're getting there. Nine more we need. Let's see if I can get you some more fish. Now I've got to sort my bank out. Um, 
to see if they still start working from my real demand. Sorry about the road noise everyone, but there's not much we can do. This is one of the good swims that we fish. And the cars obviously at home time. Or even even during the day there's a lot of noise, but Here come the swans. Stephen, try not to get him, kid. Huh? Try not to film him, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Just turn it down a bit. Yeah. Do some people don't like it, do they? Be nice to fish for up there, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh. You'd be sitting having a roast dinner, a beer, and <laughs> rod that over the edge. Oh, well, whoa. Fish on, everyone. Feels a good one as well. Oh, mate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, well, this one's going crazy. I'll put you there That's not happy. It's not a happy chabby. You've got something to look at. I need to hang on, hang around for a sec. I am. This feels pretty good. Just wait for that to come in then it'll disappear. I need to make sure. I've got to say one more time, that is one of the things. Anyways, Roy, that is a bream, I think. No, it's a rod. It's a rod. It's not bad. Be like everyone else just needs to the toilet. Yeah, you go swing now. that in. Oh my god! <laughs> You're mad. You are mad. No, you talk about me. No, I've got a couple more for the last. That's Sorry. made my day now. Mr. Yeah. Big Chunky Rod. Oh yeah. Give me a sec, try and hook it, everyone. Here it comes. Just put it in the water again for a sec while I was unhooking it. That's looking good. Oh, that ain't gonna work, is it? <laughs> Look at that. It's not so round, it's a big long fish, this one. That's a lovely fish. Lovely jubbly. Don't mind a few of them. It's got a bit of weight to it as well. It's quite thick. No, well, you can see that. 
Just spin it around. That's a good fish. No, it's not having it. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. I got you, I got you. Doesn't want to go on camera the other way around. Nope. <laughs> God, it's going absolutely crazy. No, we'll show it one more time the other way around, I think, and then we'll put it back. Quickly one more time. Lovely fish. Let's get it back. It's back in the water. We've definitely got these rug going, haven't we? We've got these worked out. Cocktail baits are getting the bigger ones. And I'm literally getting target species every single cast, which is awesome. <laughs> you can't do that very often, as you know. Let me target something. Yeah, it was definitely a jumper. <laughs> Yeah, no swearing on the channel, I don't allow it at all, but um, after the 3rd of February, YouTube are not going to allow it either, so. Not being horrible or anything to anyone, just want to keep the channel nice and friendly and, you know, sort of family friendly as well. Right, let's get back out there again. Some more ground bait on the feeder. That's what we're putting out. Sloppy mud mix is what it looks like. <laughs> that works. And then worm, a sweet corn cocktail. Back down on our spot again. This ground bait is good stuff though, this mix. It's a mix of all sorts of things that I've made up myself, but it definitely does the job. Or anyone asks, they will be available sometime this year. I've had loads of messages in the background, people asking me when I'm going to start doing baits and stuff again, and dips and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully, they'll all be available for this summer. That's the plan. I don't know if anyone's in there called M Smith, is there? Someone just sent me a message in the background, just flashed up on my phone. So then when are my hoodies coming out? Um, not sure at the moment. We're still in the process of doing that if you're in there. And we're trying to get good quality clothing, not just any old sort of Chinese stuff. And cheapy stuff we want, you know, something's gonna keep you warm if you wear it. So we're trying to sort of be selective and get nice good quality stuff and good quality logos on them and stuff like that. But bear with us, we will do it at some point. But when it does come out, that'll be nice stuff. We're gonna get stickers and stuff like that done as well. just can't give you a, a dead time right this minute because I don't know myself until they get back to me. All right, let's see if we can't get another one of these rod. I think we're going to end up with over 20 of these rod by the end of the day, which is pretty cool. Oop. I've got to get a power pack out because the old camera's getting low. Sorry about that everyone, get the rod back to where it was. Just getting the power packs and stuff out so you don't turn off on me. I 
having a pretty cross, uh, really chuffed with the session so far. We would have been happy if I had two or three rod today. We only come down here to sit on the bigger baits and try and catch a rod and we've had nearly 20. So, can't be bad. <laughs> Especially when they're the exact species that I've been hunting. It's getting chilly now. It's, you can feel the dampness coming in. Well, we can put up with that for a couple of hours. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think I missed it. That's a small. Oh, I missed it. Really? That's a clonking bite. <laughs> Absolutely clonking bite. Ow. Look at myself. <laughs> Back on the cocktail again. Load of worms and a bit of sweet corn. That's what's doing us the trick. Match with the ground bait going in the feeder. And they're going to put in again. There's a little bit left in there actually because we've got a bite so quick. Good thing about making this ground bait like this and sticky. It stays in there a lot longer. It tracks the fish to you a lot quicker. Uh, not, you know, a lot longer. Instead of just coming out and laying on the bottom. Yeah, which now is on its way, but it's a good time. Especially for a big perch. How you doing, Lloydies? Yeah, we're doing pretty well. We've come down here target and ride. And I must be getting very close to having 20 of them now. And I've had some good size ones as well. Sort of pound and a half sort of size. So pretty chuffed with that. Just trying to get that over two pounds an hour, sort of two, two and a half would be nice. Which normally come at this time a day. So let's keep pushing it and see what we can do. I think when you come down here, Lloydie, next month, this has got to be the place for you to come and fish. soon run you through what I do and put you on some fish I think. Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Big slack liner. Oh fish on, fish on. Give us a good old fun back one but it's not oh it's not even a rud. It's actually a perch. Give us a slack liner that did. <laughs> Crazy enough. Strange in that perch too. I know there's a worm on there as well, but I took a worm with sweet corn on it. <laughs> People reckon you can't catch perch on sweet corn, you certainly can. If you look on my, some of my other videos, I've caught perch on bare hooks down here for some reason in the sunlight. They must twinkle. Mr. Perch, nothing huge, but still a perch. Put his fin up, shall we? There you go. Still another fish show in it. Gonna keep it up for us now, like. lovely jubbly. Mr. Perch. <laughs> All my nails are getting full of ground bait and stuff now, like. <laughs> Let's turn it around and see if we can get a few more. Yep, glad you are, Ludi. That's gonna be fun, hopefully. Me too. We'll have a couple of fishing trips and probably grab a beer as well, have a point.
yeah, nice little perch, but nothing too crazy. But what I haven't been saying is I've been feeding up a little swim down the side of the boat here all day while I've been here. I'm now going to drop this down here just in case there's one down there. Just for a quick cast before we put it back out in the middle. Just to see if they come on the bait. Yeah, Lloyd, we've got to have a little drink, haven't we? All part of the fun. Gonna sit down next to the boat too long. If they're there, then you literally get a bite just like that. So let's get this back out in the middle where we are fishing. Get some ground bait back on. Fish like we're meant to be. <laughs> just sometimes good to get a bonus fish. Like I say we're not really after them. We're after these rods, which we keep catching. Oh, Mr. Swan. Mr. Swan's taking my line. Come on, get off it. Oh, I was lucky. <laughs> Got another one here, though. Not much luck with the swans on that cast. Very okay. She was off down the river with it, but we got it back. Like I say, we've got it to a bite of cast at the moment, so... Over that way, Swannies. Not through me line. Here come all the geese as well now. They always come in a big, long line, the geese. As you can probably see. <laughs> they follow each other around like that. Which is quite cool. We've got a bite already. It's all happening in front of me is birds going from everywhere. <laughs> We've got something developing on the end of the tip here, it's tapping away. I always give it that a little bit longer because obviously they they could be pecking at the feeder as well at the ground bank. Hello. Ooh, look at that. They cut moon at Someone's got a new toy. <laughs> huh? So someone's got a new toy. Yeah. Ooh, nice one. What well, I had to do was put it into the um, machine uh, to do all the digits. There you go. Oh, nice one. Thank you very much. It's been treated to a burger, everyone. <laughs> Stephen just bought me a burger. Appreciate that. 
I tried that. And he's true. That worked perfect. I went to Roy. And I still had that problem with Paul H. And I, I said, well, I can't get the machine on that. So I told her, I told me to put the scissors in. She said, well, try and look like that. She said, there you go, you've got a cash back. I said, don't mind. That works. That's all right, then. Yeah, it's treating itself to a set of boots. Look at that, everyone. We've been saying get some boots. He's got some nice new ones down there. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Not bad. Three more rides and a perch. You had a perch next week on. Well, everyone, I had a problem with my, um, I think that's my card. So, um, I tried that joke, but it's a tax point that it would work. Um, um, but that didn't go at all. It was straight and early, but, um, I'm just chatting to Lordy about he's coming up and said we should fish here. <laughs> How's that possible? Four. Kick a couple of boats out. <laughs> I'll go over there on my boat. Come tie myself to the railings. <laughs> Um, oh, Lloyd, you, you can't not start again. That's not good, is it, mate? We just got it going in the end. What did you catch in the end, then, Lloyd? I fell asleep. <laughs> Keep doing all these long days. I'm fishing half, fishing half a day or most of the day. Then I'm working at night. Just catching up with me a bit. That's what I needed, thank you very much. <laughs> needed something to eat. <laughs> Lordy said he'll fish over there. He'll be catapulting ball his ass. <laughs> Leave him straight into a fish as soon as he got back. Oh, what? Well. You know what that happened, don't you? Some tiny little hooks. <laughs> That's size 16. That's tiny. <laughs> that happened the other way around to me as well. I don't get the smaller ones. Because I can't hook them. So it's both ways, isn't it? Well, it's one's on the other side, let's get out in someone's house. <laughs> yeah, that little man. Pick it on me. You can't hurt them all. <laughs> um, that tight spot. I pulled one and I told her, that's how I had the only ditch of them. I nearly gave up. I told her, I'll get a new card. I said, I'll stop the card. Yeah. If someone's looked for cat, uh, we've drawn 200 pounds over there. You'll see them at oh, and then um, I thought, this is great. I thought, well, I wonder what cars are doing. I said, ah, you're not going to use yours. He said, yeah, well, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's done. <laughs> Got some nice shiny new boots. You didn't even show anyone that. <laughs> <laughs> Lordy, you're going to have to come back Yeah, get me in your box, right? 
Was soll ich so nehmen? Ne? Right now you're back. I'm just gonna whip to the toilet. <laughs> it's been all day. All right, we're back in five minutes, everyone. Let's pop to the toilet. I'll have to entertain you. McDonald's, I think. That's good. You've got to go all the way round, round the back there to round the dog thing. Hello everyone, bye bye dirty muddy trainers while I'm out, here you go. Now you can't say anything about muddy trainers now can you? Oh, wait a minute, Carl's got a low battery. What's happened? Hold on. Sorry, everyone. Uh, oh, God, hold on. How does she eat? Oh, God. Sorry everyone, um, I was saying Carl's got low battery, so I don't know what he's done here. Oh god, um... Well, sorry everyone, if you turn off, you'll know why, um, Carl's battery saying that's low but he's got a charger on there so i don't know what's going on look last time you get back that's getting low will that be all right will it uh, Jew? all right 
If that girl let me know, so I'm going to sit down and fish again. I thought yours was like mine, sort of scrolled down, you see the baggies, but I wouldn't show you. No. I suppose I'd be able to power on anyway, you've got your call pack, you see that one. That would take it, so... <coughs> yeah, I tried to... Well, that's it, close up, I just closed that little thing, but... I've just done that for you as well, but I don't think that. I think I'm going in probably. That's what I was thinking, is that in their property, or...? Okay. Problem with our phone, everyone. I did tell them just in case you disappeared over there. That's why. I'm going to have to take you out of the case and swap you over. <laughs> Can't see where I was charging right, but it should be. I'm saying I'm taking power out, so... Yeah, that's what I just said, check for you, but... I don't know if that's bad, but I don't know if that's bad, but I don't know if I'm 57, oh yeah, nice. Is it alright? I've got a... Well, I thought that would be fair to take them in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a shot, oh, it's a shot. Yeah, and I sort of went up to yours to show everyone, and then, um... We're all right, we're still going, everyone. We've got plenty of power packs with me if we need to change over. Sometimes this does play up now and again, but hopefully, I have a new one soon. There you go, everyone. A little perch. I knew I'd have one then by the time I got back. I left it down the edge. <laughs> That's not windy here today. Hey, jump straight out of my hands, everyone. That was good, wasn't it? We never dropped food. We never jumped out of my hand. It's the perch. Nothing huge. Let's get him back. <laughs> right, let's get cocktail bait back on, get some ground bait back in the feeder. Let's do the witching hour and see if we can get a big, big word. Oh, 
Oh, I see, Donnie, you're in, you're in there, but you're not in with me. <laughs> Miss Perfect. Oh yeah, Miss Perfect is what he calls, that's it. Hello, Miss Perfect. <laughs> Alright then everyone, let's see if we can get another run on the first cast of being back here again. Back, back on the spot. Well, I'm trying to do is run. You know like when you do something online and you put your car down for it. I had to do that on the machine. I, the lady is now behind there. She tried to contact us. The car would be sitting up except us. I wouldn't be accepting the machine. But I said, oh, I'm back. We're back in and on the bottom, everyone. Rod's down the side there, the way you can see that. <laughs> oh, she didn't bring us any, did she? Hi right again, Mick. Pop back in again, have you? I'll just find that exactly like this, I'll just I'll catch the ball with the tide running. I'll get a Run a connection straight to the battery, Lloydy. That'll start it. <laughs> one earlier as well. Stephen's going under the bridge with a swan. No! Oh, I lost his Have you? Or not? Yeah. Oh, he lost his float. That's not good. Oh, no. Little weight and a hook on then. Hello Donna, you popped in to see me now, have you? <laughs> nice to meet you no, today. Mr. Perfect, Miss Perfect. Yeah, Miss Perfect. Nice to meet you today. Hope you had a good day out. Too tight up the top, yeah. Yeah, that's doing my head. That's cool. better when they're a bit looser because you can put more socks on and stuff as well, can't you? Yeah, I've got two things on. Yeah, I have as well. Oh, sorry, everyone. Um, I've got a set up again. I've lost everything. Um, that's all. Hello Amanda, how you doing? I ain't seen you for a little while. Where am I Amanda? Have a guess. Let me show you a bridge and you'll best have a guess if you know where I am. Where's that? Come on, you should know where this is. Can you see? You recognise the area? I'm pretty sure you've been there. I've never done that before with a tripod, that's actually quite good. <laughs> Show everyone around. Have a guess then, Amanda. What do you reckon? Don't say South Africa or something. <laughs> that's Roxham, you're right. And we had loads of lovely coloured fish as well. Lovely golden rod with bright red fins if you go back to the beginning of the video there was about 
100,000 swans on the other side of the bridge where we were started. <laughs> and yeah, we've been catching loads of fish. And they've been the fish that I've been targeting, so not bad. Here come some swans for you. You might get another 45 minutes or so. I thought you'd put a bomb on and just put a hook on. <laughs> Quicker. More than 100 thousand. He has a lot of swans in there. <laughs> What's up then, Mick? We just see a message back to Ludi. Oh, I weren't looking, I got a big slack liner. Oh, really? That weren't fair. Serves me right for looking away. <laughs> I would. That's all good. Mr. and Mrs. Swan, Mr. and Mrs. Swan, Mr. and Mrs. Swan, Mr. and Mrs. Swan. <laughs> oh, my God. Re record that fade away. Come on everyone, smash your thumbs up. We've got 42, we've got to try and get 50. Probably got about an hour left until it's dark. So we should be able to get you a few more fish, hopefully. Yeah. Is it coming up, is it? Been down, aren't you? Yeah. Ch they chase them baits going long, don't they? Yeah. Take him on tour. <laughs> really, have to do is get a bike out and. You got yours? Go for a spin, got you? <laughs> 45 thumbs up. Keep it going, everyone. Keep it going. I know there's lots of other people live. So I appreciate you trying to go around all the other people as well. I'm just glad I've been able to bring you probably a good 20 of them rud now. And I'm hoping I'll get a couple more before it's the end. Here we go again, boy. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm missing bites now, it's not good. 
that frustrate me when I miss too many bites in a row. But at least that means there's still fish down there, even though it's getting dark. Because this place is a bit strange, and when it gets dark, it normally goes off. But we're going to find out tonight, see what it does. I'm going to hold the rod for this cast, and as I get a bite, I'm going to strike it instead of leaving it on the ground. Cheers, Jay. We looked away and the rod's pulling in my hand and we got a fish on. Lovely job. See, maybe that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to strike a bit earlier instead of waiting. I think it's a smaller fish this one there. Well, I still got excited there's still another fish. Oh, that's definitely a smaller fish. <laughs> It's a little perch. Shame, I was hoping that was going to be a rod. But a bite's a bite, and the fish is a fish. There you go, that one's a little tiny one there. Excuse my nails, they're all full of ground bait and stuff, but... <laughs> Miss perch. Right, this cast I'm going to put a bit of sweet corn on on its own, I think. And try that. Let's see what we get out of that. We'll go for quite a big bit. Oh, your float's now coming. What? I can see your float. That's not on a swan anymore, you can hook it. It's over there near the bridge, look. You have to come up here a bit. You better get it, you better cast it from behind that boat there. You might as well get it. Somehow it's coming this way, which don't make sense. <laughs> it's over there, honestly, I ain't messing you about. That's definitely there. You better hook it easier, that's right. Right in the middle of the river. Yeah, it's coming very slowly. Right, we're going to put no grind mat in this one, everyone, and we're going to put it out with just the best week on on. Without any feed, and we'll just see what we get. Hmm, slightly off the spot there a bit, but we'll still try it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You better just hook it. It's floating properly, so. If you go the other side of the boat, you'll get it easier. Uh, what? Mr. Robert Taylor, how you doing?
Oh, I don't give up, Robert. No, we've had over 20 nice rod today. We had a few perch, but nothing huge. He is as well. Oh, okay. I've got the Oh yeah, any fish is nice to catch, but it's nice to catch big ones as well. But I specifically come down here today to target the rod, and that's what I've been catching, which is pretty cool. I've got one on now. Yeah, nope. I've got the I had one on. <laughs> So we're going to go with a little single grain of corn this time and see what that does. We'll put a little bit of feed in the feeder. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you in um, Nick Collins, I thought you just said you ventured Nick Collins. Right. Lovely loader. Ludge on the old feeder. Let's get a bag out there in the spot, shall we? Spot, right on the spot, lovely job. Six thumbs up, 23 people in. Appreciate that, everyone. Hi again, Tasha, how you doing? Cheers for that, Tasha. Here come the swans again. Had loads of fish tasha since you've been in. I've said over 20 rod now. A few perch and a nice size roach. What you been up to? Anything exciting apart from housework? <laughs> I've seen Richard popping about here and there now and again. Is he still locked in his red room? I don't know. <laughs> That's why he can't get his computer set up. Ah. He's packed up. He's um, downstairs, so he's got problems. Mexican geese just went past, but they didn't land in front of us. It's a shame. 
think Barry wanted to see them. Yeah, that was a little while back now. Robert, that was probably a couple of weeks ago now. Probably done another six or seven sessions since then. <laughs> Been getting out a lot. <laughs> Run across the route to run the bag earlier. I wouldn't have done that yet. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to drop you down a little bit, everyone. <coughs> if I can, that is. Give you a bit, of, sweet ball. Give you a bit more water. Look at that. Yep, we got a bite. Monday, Monday, Monday. I'll get it back now, don't you? <laughs> I'll just wait for it. I thought it was looking at him. I don't know what happened. That's what I'm putting in. A live stat. It's good to come off. Yeah. Nope. Good show on everyone. Oh, Feels. I thought you said. Feels pretty good. Stumper? Whoa, it's fighting well. But the little ones do that as well. He's definitely giving a good account of himself, this one. Could be a perch. Now it's a ride, I'll see some gold flashings. Oh! Lovely. No one you can see that, but it's a really good fish. No. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> you no. obviously saw it. I was about two pounds, I reckon. Oh. <laughs> really? Pound after, yeah. That's so annoying. When they're right in front of you. Oh, oh. Oh, I think you saw that everyone anyway. But... They're getting a lot of bone fight. You still got a problem, Richard? Oh. That was a really nice sized rod. I suppose if you moved it, there's something that's like, I don't know, that's weird. That do sometimes happen to me. I'll talk to people certain places, I'll say I have problems. Told you, Richard, give the virus to it. <laughs> I got told to tell you, I'm not sure, but you've got to give, you feel, you give your food to people. Yeah. Can't believe I lost that one. That's really annoying. <laughs> that was a really good fish. Especially with such a chest. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Where is it? Did you see the fish everyone or not? That was right in front of me but I don't know if you saw it or not. It was a really nice good sized rod. Even then. Oh, that. Right. <laughs> See you hiding behind me there. What's this? I'm on YouTube. I've got a YouTube oh, right. channel. We've got people talking to us from literally all over the world. Really? <laughs> That's mad. Yeah, it's good fun. Had some nice fish today. Had some nice big rod and roach. I'm a match angler, so. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, Stephen do a bit more of that sort of side of things. I, I sort of go for the bigger ones. We come through, we speak to everyone this morning, they're all saying nothing's being caught. Uh -huh. We've been sitting here, fish are cast. Yeah. Unbelievable. 
Well done. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good, nice to meet you. Weird when there's someone right behind you, look. <laughs> How long have you been there, half an hour? <laughs> You did see it, did you, Robert? Oh, you all saw it, did you? Yeah, that was a good fish, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was around the two pound mark. That weren't small, but it had a big round body on it. Don't worry, we'll keep trying. We'll see if we can get another one. That could have been a good chance for a big one today. <laughs> well, don't be gone since that book went past, that's just disappeared. Just yeah, I can't there. see it. No, I've gone. As soon as they went past, I've gone. It might be the other side of this boat, was it? They go down quicker on the cold of the day, is sort of. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jay. He's pulling in a few. He's getting roach and all sorts. <laughs> Said, have I, have I got a pack of tissues for you? Yeah, that's what he's on about. Oh. <laughs> Crying because of your float. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. It's like, that's horrible. Isn't it, when you... I can't see where it went. I thought I was going to drift to the other side, but. now hi Kev how you doing uh, you missed about 20 golden rod a few perch and a half decent roach and I just lost a really nice size rod around the two pound mark right in front of the net <laughs> but we're still going it's not dark yet we could still get another one Just wish this place would carry on fishing when it get dark. Mm. Especially in rod. I think the best thing to do is just put it in the microwave or in the oven. Turn it on full. What? It's computer. It's computer. Lord, um, I went back to Portugal anyway, so 
Oh, well, I don't want to hear that when I'm fishing. I want to be peaceful. <laughs> Awesome fishermen, welcome to the channel. Yeah, Kev, if you're gonna come down here tomorrow, I would say come to this exact swim or the next one down. I wouldn't go either way, the other ways. Because there was like 20 people down here earlier on and they weren't catching anything. I think we've only got two people down here with us now. One's on the far bank and one's spinning down the other end. Yeah. Yeah, I would say come in here if you're going to come down tomorrow. And obviously we've been baiting here during the day as well, so that would make it even better the fish will come overnight. We're early morning. You go get up here at five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stephen's saying he's gonna beat you here. Not really. There's enough room for two though. I was joking. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you got to change that title, haven't you? This is what, what Jude got, I I just lost a big fish and you're saying there's no fish now. Look. Come on. <laughs> you know I slow down at this time, but it's still a good chance of a good fish. Oh, yeah. Like oh, the flow's gone, has it? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay. Still. Your float's gone. Whoa. <laughs> what did you say? That's a nice rod. <laughs> I think them crashes we see on the surface at dark are right, you know. That's a good fish by loads of it. Stephen's playing in a nice one, the rods are bending nicely. Looks like a rod. Yep, lovely rod coming to the net. Look at this. Oh yeah. That's what we come for. It's nice to catch the roach and that in between as well, but we really want these big rod, they're lovely. Good fish, isn't it? Hey, I have one. If I get my big one then. How you doing, Big Dan? Yeah, I've had over 20 rod, up to sort of a pound and a quarter, and I've just lost one around the two pound mark, which is really annoying. I've had a few perch, I've had a couple of good roach, sort of half a pound. So yeah, it's all happening. And we're still getting bites most casts. Thank you, Louis. And I've just reeled in, I've got no bait on, which is why I didn't have a bite just then. <laughs> All different baits seem to be working, there isn't really a set bait, which is quite cool. That's right, Lord, you brought it to me, it says, um, two first two, you know what I mean? 
Depends if you want to get a big fish or not though, Lloydie. <laughs> All right, then let's get back down there, shall we? Hello, Richard. Got your computer sorted out? Oh, sorry, what's that, Miss Perfect? <laughs> I got told to call you that time, sorry. Yeah, she said it. Down there, you're just perfect, it's her fault, she said it. And I got told, it's your fault, you said it, please. So, um... 48 thumbs up, come on, everyone, we only want two more. Let's do it. Now, 14 thumbs up. Now it's just, oh, hold on. I didn't mean that, it's just like when you're sitting, I just said, I look, you look a bit different to that little picture, that's what I'm saying. What well, did you say the fish are gone? Oh, <laughs> no fish on. I think they're sort of coming in quite nice size. <laughs> Sometimes when the tides stop, they get to go down on the bait, don't they? I think that's just, um, no. Oh, here we go, everyone. We oh. Oh. I said shite anyway, but everyone... Oh, you know how to say that? Yep. My channel can hear you as well. Oh, I missed it. Really? I had an awesome bite then. <laughs> That's not good. I hate this and bites off his big rod. You never know, it could have been a two and a half, three pounder. All I know is they're still biting. That's good. I'm going to hold it this time, everyone. I'm literally going to hold it for the bite, and as soon as yeah. I get a bite, I'm going to whack it. Yeah, not the one I thought was, was you. I saw you pull it. She had the same kind of hair and everything. That's just like once I saw it. So this is why I looked at you and I was like, oh, I've got you saw you pull it. So, yeah. Oh, is that being a pain, Richard? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's true, yeah. Fish on everyone. Oh, what? Sometimes it's good to move over to a new one. It could be a lucky one, this one. Could be the big fish float. Well, that's, that's that might be the big fish float, the other one was the small fish float. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's why I wasn't going to say. I can't take them to Unless it's like the last hole you'd lost a lot of weight. I don't know, I think like that. Have you dug out of that hole yet? No, I'm trying. <laughs> she must have looked back to what I said. <laughs> Probably check, make sure I didn't have the one on. <laughs> I wouldn't have said she was a big person at all. <laughs> what? I wouldn't have said she was a big person. No. No, it wasn't cool off. No, I know what you meant. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> they all shut up. <laughs> you can't get me wrong, I sure. Hello again, Tony. How you doing? I'm getting people pop in and pop out and <laughs> where's the place? Whoa. Hello. 
Fish on everyone. Feels like a good one as well. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. It's coming in. As you can probably see. That's a rod. Oh yeah, here comes another rod. Here we go. How's that? Another lovely fish. Really good picture quality. Yeah, I hope so. I'll try my best. Why? Look at that lovely fish. I hope these just keep coming. This is exactly what I'm here for. Alright, let's get it back in the water, don't want it to be out too long. And let's see if we can get some more. What's that? Swans. Swans. What did you say go on the bottom? <laughs> well, I said put a ledger on and go on the bottom. Both tactics seem to work, don't they? That's probably the most rod I've had out of here in a day now, I would have thought. Yeah. I thought they'd be there for some reason though, I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, waste one. <laughs> this is where I caught the one years ago. I caught two grey men. Where I caught my biggest perch. That same place. Well, there. Yeah. That there's three. Not the boats they like there. Sorry, but I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Can't believe you said it had gone quiet a little while ago. It's <laughs> fish a cast. <laughs> you Cheers, Andy Digger. It's DP, yes. Yeah. That happens sometimes, you drop a few, don't you? But we're doing alright. Still got a good chance of getting another big one as yet. We're getting some nice size ones. It's nice just to keep getting the rod and not getting pestered by too much other stuff. At the moment, I don't know if you can see the, you can just about see the tip of the rod I've got it in my hand. I'm waiting for, I can actually feel the bites. I'm striking like that instead of waiting a few taps. Fifty-three thumbs up. Well done, everyone. Appreciate right. that. Got a bite. Oh, 
Okay, woof, woof. Walk with me, Norfolk Zen. Hello, Andy Chicken. <laughs> Can't tell me they're in a few fish down there at the moment. <laughs> Got a feeling they're going to stay out of dark. Oh, really? I missed that one, everyone. Or was that a little one? No, I did miss it. Shame. Swan! Sorry. <laughs> you can get wound up by the swans, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I broke the strike they got in the way. Yeah. Ah! Go away! Sorry, everyone. I'm getting annoyed. I broke the strike the swan turned up. I forgot the rest. No swans. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that's the swan and also the trap. I'll go to bed in a minute. Oh. How's everyone doing in the chat then? Hello, Peter, how you doing? Here come all the, the big shoals of birds, or whatever you call them, flocks of birds. We're done? Oh, what? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. Them. No, I didn't. And your laugh. <laughs> yeah, I've watched that swan, that really put me up there. Huh? Yeah, they're all never turning back up at end, aren't they? Missed another bite. What is going on? <laughs> I'm missing a lot of bites there. Yeah, if I can take two big balloons in the box, I can take a pair of shoes in the box. Yeah. <laughs> No, it wasn't a boat. Andy Tigger said, did you catch a boat? Oh, here we go. That wasn't a boat, that was a tree. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> He can hear you in the background. <laughs> yeah, I cast that in the tree. Yeah, you're missing a good one here, Andy, yes. That's nearly a fish of cast. That's definitely a bite of cast. Rod?
Hi Luke Wicks, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Uh, we're on over 20 rod, up to sort of pound and a quarter. We did lose a two pounder. Had a couple of perch, had a couple of roach around half a pound. And I've got Stephen next to me and he's got a net full of roach and rod as well. So yeah, we're doing good. We're making up for yesterday's session. <laughs> Oh, here we come. Who let the cat in the back? Yeah. Oh, thought you meant behind me then. <laughs> no. He's online saying for me a creepy. Oh, you want to I think that float is better than the other float. <laughs> You're doing all right. It's been a good day, hasn't it? Seems we're only windy and only done half a day, really, haven't we? So, yeah. we had loads of fish, really. <laughs> Yours, of course, I was um, charging it and I went 100%. You're right now. Oh. Any luck yet? Oh, yeah, no, we no. went to Rainbrook, so there's literally no fishing everywhere. Oh, right. So, uh, I thought we were just going to try and come back here. Yeah, we must have had 20 plus now, I reckon. Yeah, that's right. Quite a few. I lost one about just around the £2 mark right in front of the net. But I've had them up to sort of nearly a pound and a half. Yeah, that's so, it's alright, yeah. I had a few perch, but nothing yeah, huge. Nothing no, I haven't really tried though, to be honest. Yeah. So, I would say at the end of this run, there's a boat across the other side, a white one. Yeah. I've had all my big perch there. Oh, really? Sort of pound and a half, two pounders. <laughs> Yeah, I'm damn rocks them, Luke. Something like that do me. What do you reckon everyone boat like that? Nice Shetland. The trouble is you don't that much room to fish out the back of that, so it won't have that couldn't be that shape. But that size would be nice. <laughs> Form back Ray coming in, everyone. <laughs> Go away, Mr. Swan. <laughs> it's going well, isn't it? What? 
Привет. Right. Oh, look at this, look. Rod coming into my swim. Good. <laughs> Let's get a bit of action, shall we? Action shot, rod bending, look. Rod coming down into the net down here, look. Roach? Oh, that's a hell of a roach, then. <laughs> We've got to see this, everyone. Oh, that's a lovely roach. <laughs> Jeez. We're coming over to have a look at that. <laughs> I haven't seen a roach like that for a while. Last time I had roach in the outside, it was at Lodden Key, but they weren't there last night. Let's go and have a walk, shall we? Let's have a look at that. Look, look at that for a roach, everyone. We'll get that, we'll get him a still and send him a picture of that. Lovely fish, well done. <laughs> That's a hell of a roach, isn't it, everyone? What a lovely fish. That's what you've done last time, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice fish. Well done. It's a bit strange down here, John, to be honest. Um, when it gets dark, it normally dies off. But at the moment, we still seem to be getting a few bites, so we'll carry on for a little bit and see what we're doing. You've got to realise, Andy, if you're still there, right? Uh, you're not a force fisherman, right? You've got to three. Well, when I do sea fishing, I'm going to get 10 pounds <laughs> <laughs> I like to see that. <laughs> You still getting all yours on sweet corn? Yeah. yeah. Now they just missed a big fish I just caught. Yeah, it was. One of the biggest fruits I've had for, uh, for, for a while. <laughs> fish shot. That's what I'm saying. I think they're right rolling on the surface. I honestly do. Oh yeah, sorry. My mistake is fishing. No, definitely not. But that's, that is getting dark quick. Get back down there and everyone see what we can get. Nice big bunch of worms on. So I ain't tried worm for a little while now. Let's see what that does. Oh, here come all swans. Lovely right on the spot. Andy Tigger saying lovely roach you had. Well done. Thanks, Freak. <laughs> That's awesome roach. Oh, come on, Swan. Give me a break. I feel as soon as Andy Tigger comes, I don't catch fish. Last <laughs> Sunday, yesterday, I got two fish in two sessions. You're a jig fish, you? Oh, no, I 
Line. Just turn my brains in today, mister. Yeah, a bit up and down today, aren't they? Yeah. It's because they're getting fed both ends, I think. Oi, 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 oi
Oh, wow. Guess who's in? Who? He is watching. How you doing, Roger? Oh, he is there, isn't he? <laughs> Have you been here all day then, or you just been being quiet? Have you seen all the fish? What's that up there? That is a drone. Oh, yeah. Someone's flying a drone above us, which could be Neville. Neville? Neville J on the channel. He's been sending me shots from the drone down here. Ah. <laughs> I'll send them to you later because you're in them. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Woohoo! Well up there, isn't it? I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it, everyone, but I'll try and show you. No, I can't. <laughs> up, up there, there's a. Yeah, you can just about make it out. There's a drone up there, that's it. There you go, I'll zoom in. We might be being filmed. Or if not, that's an extraterrestrial spaceship. <laughs> well, my bikes are starting to go quiet, so... I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still on the same spots and everything. That's weird, that's what it does down here. As soon as it starts to get dark, it's like the fish say, haha, I'm going to bed. Out <laughs> of all the rivers I know, I can only think of one other river where I can get rud, and that's Bungie. <laughs> Golden rud, like that, you know. Joe said, Joe said, us come to take you home. It's your lift. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, 16. Here it comes, it's going straight over us. 15 bumps, bumps up. If you can see us, Neville, and that is you. How you doing? Because <laughs> you're getting really close, so I reckon it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Wee. Yeah, my bikes are starting to go quiet. I don't know about yours. No. You still getting bites, eh? Mm. I'll come in your swimming. <laughs> nah. I might have to move me feeder to a different spot. Are you sure about that? I don't know if that's five minutes or so. I feel that cold now starting to come in, eh? Hands and toes are starting to get a chill on them. Oh, cheers, Mick. Mick's sitting there on the big screen watching us. Nice cupper in his hand, nice and warm. <laughs> Stephen's into a pike. <laughs> no, I think that should be a big rod, I would say. But I'm saying that's not plodding like a rod. Yes, it is. Let's watch, 
see if we can get it on film just in case. Yeah, you've done that. Now you might fall at them for you. Hopefully you'll get it in the net. Right, I've got a 14 up on Oh, I can see it. It's a rod. It's a rod. It's just one going mental. It's not actually as big as what you expect, I don't think. They fight hard, don't they? Really good. Still a nice fish. Nice one. You'll have a nice net to show. I'm ashamed I didn't bring mine out of the car, really. Because I've had a load of rod. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> The way your rod was going, I thought it was yeah. two pounder. Woo! Hey, you don't have to get a drum to see what you want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're catching too many fish. Better last time, did you? Oh, my God. Fifty eight thumbs up, everyone. Nice one. Thirty two people in. Fifteen thumbs up, everyone. Appreciate You look at the old restaurant upstairs over the other side, look, see all the neon colours and stuff. Look pretty cool, don't it? I'll do my best to get you a few more fish, but that seemed to be slowing down a bit on my side. Might be time to bring it in and drop it down the side of the boat here where I've been feeding up, see if we can get a perch. But we'll have another casters yet. Have you been in there, have you done it? Nice, that's look nice, doesn't it, in the dark and that? In there, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Put a rod out over the edge and sit there and get the roast in the point. Lovely. See, what was that? Oh, Donna's been there a few times. <laughs> nice. Missed that one. Some reason those boots get stuck in. That's why I'm not some type of trouble. That's why I went to spell about a fish. I don't think they'd appreciate me going in there now and smelling all the fish and all sticky and slimy. <laughs> Yeah, you get what you pay for, don't you, Donna? Yeah, like a bit flow you had a little while ago. I saw you. <laughs> uh, Hi, Nick. How you doing? This big one was once you went again. Uh, I thought, ah, oh, no one's going to see me. 
Donna said, tell Mr. W she didn't have a McFlurry. Oh. <laughs> I'll let you off, sorry. <laughs> You would have thought you'd have had a mini egg one, wouldn't you? Buy the ice cream, Donna, and then just break up some mini eggs in there. That'd be lovely. She said the McFlurry was for a little one. Yeah. Spite of me. Fish on in one. Did she have fun feeding the um, swans and stuff, Donna? Around there with the, all the birds? Hey. Nice one. Fish on in one. My bites are dried up. Weird. Well, they look green and yellow, you see, so they're both yellow. <laughs> oh, I've still got a sweet corn on there. Yeah, I've got a bunch of worms under them. You still there, are you, Caroline? Yeah, we'll wear. I'll be out again at some point this week. There ain't really many weeks go by we don't go out. I'm pretty sure we won't go a week without going out. He ain't been in mine for most of the day now. He popped in this morning.
Yeah, I think it. Richard's put, no, Roger's put, sorry. Last bus at quarter past five. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about train. He wants to know what train, Roger, please. I know the bus. Yeah. Andy Tigger saying last train at half four, but he's laughing. Oh, <laughs> Vanessa, hello, welcome to the channel. That's probably 2014. <laughs> Good fish on. That's the only trouble now, it's getting dark, isn't it? I actually wonder if you drifted along the surface only about a foot deep, will you be getting them rod? Stephen's now landing another nice golden rod. Gonna have a quite a nice net to show you. Uh, but my bites are uh, my bites are tailed off now. Oh, that's what you've been up to, Martin. Oh, Martin, been Fish on, but tiniest fish of the day. Look at that for a perch. The hell? <laughs> I can't even lift this one. It's so heavy. You can pull that. Yeah, you could. There you go, everyone. Little perch. <laughs> I ain't going to spin the camera around for that one. That's not really worth it. Oh, I've actually got Richard and Hasher in the channel at the same time. That don't happen very often. Cheers, you, you too. <laughs> Not being funny, but the other way around, people watch the woods club. Ah, yeah, yeah. I keep meaning that, Doddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah. If a man has got a hit of woman, yeah, I know what you mean, now. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Don. I just realised what you mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was just real, that one. Fish on, oh fish off. 
<laughs> Mick, nice one. I Tell you what, Mick, when I go in the bath, I sit there on my phone watching lives quite often. And I'm soaking the old legs and back. Everyone, <laughs> uh, start of the imagination, I think a lot of you don't want to know the uh, a picture up here. <laughs> the picture, you know what I'm saying? You really want a picture up here. One day, I'll be getting stopped. Oh, the food stopped working. I put it in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Meant to be waterproof, but I wouldn't try it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not making it to the middle of the river, don't you? <laughs> I know. I'm fishing there as well. I've got oh, yeah? In. Yeah. I can't see over there, Dave. No. I'm not getting them close in, though, so. Hang on, Richard, you're not all clear yet. You've got a computer virus now. Have a bit of a move around, everyone, because it's just getting dark. And I need to be able to see what's going on. So I'm going to put my rod up on top of the camera rest. <laughs> we have a night in the summer at some point of over a hundred pound of bream <laughs> between the two of us easy can we find them quite a high I reckon if me you and Andy go we, we could have a load of them <laughs>
My chat saying they can hear you, they're getting the two chats for the price of one. For sure. Yeah, cheers Mick. I've actually got one here. I might have one myself. <laughs> I've got a hot chocolate. <laughs> if that's not cold. <laughs> Steven's bringing another fish in. He's still getting them, but my swim's gone a bit quiet. See, I'm not after the roach, I'm after the rug. Oh. <laughs> Good size roach again. Get some nice roach. Yeah, Cheers, Mick. <laughs> yeah, I got one as well. Winding me up saying he's got a lovely hot drink and all that. He's indoors in the warm. <laughs> I'm not really cold, it's a little bit out of my toes and hands, but nothing to worry about. Oh, 63 thumbs up, everyone. I'm impressed with that. Thank you very much. That's good for a freshwater video. Live, whatever you want to call it. I think 72. No, that could even be a PB for a freshwater video. Twenty nine people in. Cheers, Nicola. Tell that, Rolfing, tell me midnight. Fish on. So, if you started doing midnight, kept pulling them in, you'd have a netball. Sorry, just ask the spawn to look at it. I don't know why she thought you were going, Nicola. She's not paying attention properly. Joe said goodbye to Nicola, but she won't go nowhere. Oh, Joe, wake up. <laughs> You've been talking to that drop on there and that book too much. Yeah. <laughs> Put good going to me, meaning good going, well done. Uh, and Joe thought she was good. <laughs> read properly, put your glasses on. Well, at the moment, everyone, that's doing what I normally do to me down here. As soon as it get dark, they're not there, which is weird. I wouldn't mind if the rod and stuff moved out and the bream come in or something like that, but it's strange.
some birds nesting behind us, as you can probably hear, up in the trees. <laughs> they know what they are before you even ask. <laughs> if anyone's in there and hit the thumbs up, please do. That helps the channel out. Steven's into a fish again. He swims flying at the moment. <laughs> nice one, Rod. You put the 1624 or something, it's been cancelled due to fish on the line. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> This swim's done you well, hasn't it? <laughs> that roach you had earlier on was lovely. It's nice to see a big roach. I haven't seen many this winter. Well, I came out last year, I started lockdown, went to that spot around the corner. Yeah. And um, yeah. I think I've seen that one. Is the tide moving again yet? That time.
everyone on air uh, always has a way and then people say take a picture of this tomb so sometimes you can get uh, I'm sure you'll all be on list of water sites anyway so Trying to get the kitten. Nice riding, huh? Riding. Another big roach. Yeah. Steve's got another big roach. You're going to have to go over to his one for that one because. I'm using the camera and stuff at the rod rest. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't a rope, is it? I can't seem to get a bite now. I've had a couple of knocks just now, but. I can't on this one, John. I'm using the camera as a rod rest for that one. That was actually a rod in the end. But still a nice fish. If you go over to Stephen W. Trips, you'll be able to see it. Just go back a minute and you'll see the fish. If not, if you wait till the end of the session, he normally shows his net and all his fish. And you can look back at that later on. Yeah, because I'll be doing it on yours anyway. Oh, yeah? Well, what, take a food supply? Everyone's on there anyway. Yeah. I'll take a food supply. That way, sometimes I can leave it and I think, ah, I'll try and do what on the stills on there. Then I get all the. Uh, the quality is not as good as it. That's annoying. When you try and thing it, screenshot it. Get all the lights all up on there as well. Yeah. Shoot the bait Dead on five o'clock. What time you thinking then? Well, I can't get caught past five now. It's far too quick. I'll be having a brush of that big head. I'll just wait past six. Yeah. Well, past five, like seven.
Cheers, Tony, for coming in. Tide moving again now, is it? Yeah. I deserve it from here. Yeah. Like that day, Riverside, from fishing after dark, and before dark, and then after, in between, I should drop it, the lights are flashy. Yeah, yeah, twilight. Yeah. But not doing the wind. Oops, 17 lights. Nice. What's your record then, do you know? You, you heard a couple more today just from here? Oh. I'll send a couple of people over. She might have stayed up till 4 o'clock with Doody last night. You know we do stay with Lloydie. I can't buy a bike now, everyone. <laughs> I just missed one. Oh, yeah. I was holding back and I went under and stuck it. It's weird though, because I've just spent the day in a fish a cast or a bite a cast. And as soon as I do that, darkness come in. Oh, we got a bite. Wow. <laughs> Strange one, it hit it once and then stopped. <laughs>
squatting down. I just don't understand how the place can switch off like this and then tell me a lot of will switch on. Why not the same? Why not? <laughs> Cool, listen to that peace and quiet. No cars, no nothing. It's not quiet here very often, is it? Here they come again. <laughs> it's one thing you never really get here, isn't it? Hi right, Jane, how you doing? Um, probably around getting close to 30 fish. Had some nice sized rudd. Lost a really big one right in front of the net. Had some small perch. Some roach around half a pound. And Stephen next to me has had some really good sized roach, some good sized rudd. The net full of all sorts of bits and pieces. Your channel I ain't seen before, so I'll, I'm fishing at Roxham. It's on the Norfolk Broads, if you're wondering where that is. It's gone a bit quiet now, it always does once it gets dark down here. I was literally getting a bite of cast before, but it's quieting down on me. No longer been fishing with that tangle. Hopefully, not too long. 
Might be why I was missing the boats. <laughs> Hook was literally upside down and tangled up. <laughs> Hello, swans again. Nearly put the camera in the whole lot in the water then. <laughs> cool. That's quite nice. <laughs> Quarter past five. Not sure, Andy. That just goes quiet as soon as it gets dark. I always do down here for some reason. It's not always where the lights are. We try further down the river where it's darker, and it's still the same. So I don't think it's the lights. I think they just stop feeding. We get we're still getting the odd bite, but it's nothing like it was during the day. But that one odd bike could be a really big fish, so it's worth a little go after dark for an hour or so. Oh, we got a bite, everyone. So they are still about. Whether it's a roach or a rod, it's a different thing. Though. Could be a perch. Oh, Stephen's got one, so there's still a few fish about. It's just much harder at the moment. It's going well, but it looks things. Look at that nice fish. Don't take many of them to start putting weight in there, do it? Mm 
So they are sort of still there, just only slightly, aren't they? <laughs> if that made sense. Could be right there, Richard. It could be. Thing is, this fish doing it really well, and then if you go to somewhere like London, as soon as it gets dark, it'll fish really well, like it does during the day here. So different, different parts of the broads are different. Hey, walk about Richard, yeah, nice one, I like that. He wow. <laughs> said, what a great day to fish and absolutely riding great. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We got Ruddy Noose and Sandy here. Oh. <laughs> I have. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have. He's in with me. Oh, really? I just had a really good bite and I don't get it, I don't think. No, I, oh my God, what is going on? I don't know. The bites I am getting, I'm not catching. Size, yeah. I've got to turn you for a minute everyone because I need to turn the light on so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Bright lights. There's a lot of football stadium over here. Right at it. Oh. <laughs> That's That's not fair, is it? Not the fish we caught today. We've no, had loads. The fish we've, caught today, you the and I bet we've had loads of big fish. <laughs> oh. All these are nuisance. This video goes out at six, don't it? We ain't gonna get to see it yet. <laughs> Have to watch it later. I won't. <laughs> yeah, the far bank is a nice spot, but... Oh, you can't say that from another channel, Tasha. It's not on. Did he come solo? Yeah, <laughs> he thought he'll come over quick. Yeah. Oh, I just heard Tash call me a chad because I'm going to quickly go on to the next chad. Yeah. Yeah, I know what he's doing. I would guess he's probably got us both on. <laughs> he's probably got one of us on the telly, one of us on the phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Thank you, Tasha. Have you come back? <laughs> I'm not showing a lot at the moment, I know, because there's not a lot happening now, but we've had a good day. You have to switch back to that other one, what he catches again, because I'm going to turn off catch, but get a picture. We also go up in a minute again, sorry. I wouldn't just mind one more fish just to sort of sign off with and that, you know. Tell you what, everyone, while there's loads of you in the chat, because there's like 30 plus people in there, do me a favor. Absolutely spam the chat with loads of numbers and like AAA, BBB. Just give me loads and loads of messages so I can check out some analytics on YouTube. Because wow. the more messages you get, the more it's meant to push you up in the search. Oh, that's why I get loads of fancy. Um, yeah. So I'd like to test it if you fancy just putting anything you want in. Just do loads and loads of messages. And I can test that out on this video over the next few weeks or so. <laughs> Thank you for asking, everyone. Just whack loads of stuff in. Anything you want. <laughs> yeah. And I can just test that out and see if it actually works. That's it. Anything whatsoever. Just go for it. <laughs> I think the highest amount of comments I've ever had in a video was 3,700 and something in a sea fishing one 12 hour session if we can get more comments we'll see what it does see if that's true God, i'd never be able to keep up with that if i were messages <laughs> it's called doing 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 <laughs> appreciate that everyone just want to test a few things out you know i bet you're enjoying it anyway putting all sorts of stuff in oh yeah i imagine <laughs> Oh, I can hardly see it. It's going. Oh, oh, oh. I bet you missed water signs to join that. Well, <laughs> she's, one she's actually not joined in, I don't think. Oh. Everyone else here, though. So. I'm getting all numbers and letters and <laughs> symbols. That's it. Keep going as long as you can keep going, everyone. <laughs> And I'll let you know the results once I know the video's been up for a week or so. Cool, I hope the channel will get that big one day at the chat go through like that. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Still going. Cheers, everyone. If someone come in now, they're going to look at that and think, what the hell's going on in this chat? <laughs> they're going to think you're coming in just spamming me. Nitro carp, we're just doing a bit of a test there. Don't worry, it's not getting all spammed. <laughs> I'm asking everyone to put in as much as they can because we're going to see if that pushes me up in the search. That's meant to help you in the search. The more messages you get per video. Yeah, I'm getting it now. Yeah. <laughs> if that turns out to be your best video, you'll know why. <laughs> People are writing potatoes, leeks, they're writing all sorts of stuff in there. Numbers, E, letters, symbols. I hope you're having fun, everyone. Is that fun to put all that in there? Tasha's writing pork. <laughs> <laughs> Swede, I'm getting all sorts. Oh my god. Nice one, Nitro Carp. I'll check it out when I get home later on. Martin's putting in bacon, 
Pam's just popped in. She's probably wondering what the hell's going on. Exploring lifestyles, writing characters. <laughs> How you doing, Pam? We're just doing a bit of an experiment, don't worry. I'm not getting spammed. <laughs> I've been told that the more messages you get per live or video, it puts you higher in the search. So I want to test it. Thank you. Can't... You're here, right? Calm down with some of the stuff that you're writing. <laughs> Super Califragil, I can't even say that. Yeah, Richard. <laughs> Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. That's no problem, Nitro. Jay's putting trolleys in all sorts. <laughs> Scuba diving gear. Is that what's all in front of me, is it? Ah, <laughs> oh, Roger's writing sticky socks. <laughs> oh, it's calming down now, is it? Everyone had their fun? Oh no, here it go again. Appreciate that, everyone. It's nice to do tests and see what happens. Imagine someone coming into the channel now that don't know the channel, they're probably going to think, what? <laughs> we ain't standing here, this channel's crazy. Oh, and he is. Patrick Jarvis is there. You go and have a look at this later on. <laughs> it's just everything. Rainbows and everything, there's all sorts going on. That's it, Pam, join in, put in loads of stuff. Roach, rat, perch. Yeah, A, B, C, you just do anything you want. Yeah, all them ones you just put in, Tash, they'll do or, them one at a time. Or do 2014, <laughs> 2014. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Oh, that was lovely, boy. Oh, that's that theme, well, morning. Why, well, you want to pack up? <laughs> no, not yet, it's all, but, um, Close. Oh, two more. <laughs> and you just wrote budgie. <laughs> Three minutes, <laughs> Let's see if you can keep it going the longest then, shall we? Let's see who's the first person to stop. Or the last person to stop, even. <laughs> If this one gets a YouTube review, like some of them do, they're gonna look at that and think, what? <laughs> that was all sorts of things, Tasha. But you need to do them one at a time. One per message. <laughs> Instead of hundreds per message. And you, Martin. All that stuff, one at a time per message. Thanks for joining, Martin. Dot. <laughs> oh, they're having fun in here, they're loving this. I know, it's not finished. Oh, got bots in here as well. Look, I bet no one's getting them. Oh, no. Come today. I've had to get the last two now. I mean, mods are not doing their jobs because they're playing now. <laughs> That's it, Richard. You got that's it. One at a time. You're getting the idea, everyone. Now, now you get loads on there. <laughs> the chat can't keep up. It's going mental. <laughs> Jesus. I keep freezing because that's going so fast. I can't wait to see how many messages this, this one's had. I'll let you all know later on in one of the chats. Pam, 
fishing Dundee crocodile style. <laughs> Zippy. You sort of yeah. did nitro carp. I've been talking about you, but we can get yeah. you. We can get your link put up nitro carp. If someone can just drop nitro carp's link for me, please. Yeah. So I was that bigger. Is that a rod again? Here's it. Nice one. No, that's what I was thinking. That's strange, it's still going. You can see the tide's flowing quite hard that way now, though. <laughs> My chat's still spamming through. <laughs> It's going crazy. I'll probably go for another half an hour. <laughs> Low juicy, six o'clock. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thirty pound on the way. <laughs> oh, I am trying to read the messages, the sensible ones in between, but <laughs> I fly them through. <laughs> That was a 33 pound a year, I heard about that. That was a big pike that came from just down a, down a bit from where we're sitting. That's it everyone, you all join in, just whack in whatever you want. One, two, three, four, five, six numbers, letters. Yeah. Oh, we're starting to slow down a little bit, everyone. Are your fingers getting knackered. Fans are sort of like getting up. Oh, some of us been busy on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been emptying his mother-in-law's house. Oh, well, I'll let you off. <laughs> and he done 68 hours last week at work. This is a bit knackered. Oh. Well, I know one thing, the fish are not down in the middle of the river anymore. Because I've just sat down there for about 20 minutes. I'm getting close in. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to drop it closer and see what's happening. Because it ain't happening out there. Unless I'm tangled up or something, but I doubt it. No. How close in are you going? Oh. Is that close in? Oh. Or further? Oh. <laughs> oh, you're further out of me now. Oh. <laughs> Time out for you, Mr. Brinton. <laughs> oh. Call this garbage, all these fish I've caught. <laughs> We've been on another channel for the last time I've caught them. Yeah. Oh. I think 
No cooking did, and everyone got wife to do that for you, Matt. I'm sure she's the best cooking you. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, Martin. I didn't know. <laughs> Tell us how it's cold inside. I thought you had someone when you're on your live. Yeah, someone right there. Oh, you do okay. have someone right there. Sorry, Martin. I didn't know. Pog team. Big Mac, oh, Roger's back. <laughs> Jay's putting socks and all sorts of stuff. Brim, hammers, we're getting all sorts going on here. Magnets. Hey? Mother-in-law. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. You said, you said Mark helped his mother-in-law. He's emptying her house. That's what I thought he was married. Mm. That's what I was confused. Oh, no. He lost. He that's lost his wife a few years back, I think. Oh, but I still class that's Bobby's mother-in-law. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, Martin, I didn't know. He used to come down here on the boards and do all boating holidays and all sorts. Oh god. Oh yeah, that's what he really has been talking. That's what he's talking about. And all that, yeah, that's course. it. Tap tap. Tap you. I'll tie you up around the second minute. Jay and Andy Tigger are still going on my channel. They're still <laughs> seeing who can push the last ones. I think wow. I see only two, only two still going though. You know what that Andy Tigger's like. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Not 12 years ago. No, what? Sorry about that, I didn't know. It was when I got told you were speaking to your mother in law's house, that I thought, and you know, I thought you had someone with you, I didn't realise. Sorry. Oh, that's looking like a competition between Andy Tigger, Jay, Roger. And Explore and Lifestyle. I think that's the last two left. It's still going. That's three days. You said last two, you just said Two three. or three or four even, I think. You said last two or four. Just said Tasha and stuff have dropped out now. Richard's not doing it anymore, I don't think. The chat's still flying through with them though. <laughs> Hi there, watching from New Zealand. We're doing a test on my channel before you wonder what the hell's going on. <laughs> so welcome to the channel. That's why we're putting all sorts of stuff up. We're doing a test to see if it helps me get up higher on the search on this video. If you want to know what we caught, we've had 20 plus rod, up to about a pound and a quarter. Uh, roach up to probably a pound and a half-ish. Stephen had that one. And food perch and stuff like that as well. Yeah, 100% batteries. Nice. That's then Cannot believe how crazy this chat is still going. <laughs> Oh, Richard, you're still there, are you? You're just waiting for it to slow down a bit, were you? He's just getting his skis out ready for tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. It's going for, I'm getting normal messages in between all the spam. And That's what I'm saying. I you can't read them. The That's flying, but that'd be interesting to see what happens. Anyone get a finger ache yet? No problem, Pam. Go and have your dinner. <laughs> Two 
police are going down my place, you could turn on and set your alarm off and we all take that. And I'll set one on. I've got a bill of £30 on Tuesday. Yeah. Alright, you've got quite a bit in there now. Won't you be surprised when you pull it up? Quite a few of them rad and then them heavy ropes. That'll be a decent weight. I'm a bit disappointed I ain't got one of them rad in my net. <laughs> That'd have been yeah, a good photo. To be honest, I thought I was going to sit back and probably get three or four rod and yeah, just That's keep it. going for the big ones, but oh. we've had loads of them. <laughs> Maybe they're here in the summer, we'll have and to try then, um, I had a big pound perch, what was my highest per record perch until this year. Till pot home. Three times a week. Well, no, well, I got the highest first, then one another day I got a little bit less. So I stayed in the school big and stayed in the first. Last year. We were in January. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, just <laughs> eat. Yeah, it's a good point actually, this river season stops soon, doesn't it? Yeah. That's not good. Two more months. Hmm. Let's get the sea gear out. Go on a few lakes. Can't believe you're still going everyone with the old spamming. <laughs> Got 30 people in there, I don't know how many people are doing it, but no, I've got a day off the people that are coming in must think, what is going on? I'm going to take my bike to get that, um, my gear thing to sort of Yeah. I've got dirt yesterday, you know, it's got dirt sport, but I know it's got dirt sport. It's typical, this, the I thought so far. Take me care, I thought, well, better. I've got to run now. I can't see you today. You've been here for the last two days. Or something. I yeah. thought they were suddenly. That's the. I was just in the live saying about me, I thought, 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 So yeah, definitely be up for that. Just I need one for my boat. Because I keep using the big rod in there and the, the butt handle end getting in the way of the seat. When you're in the boat, that's hard work. Ooh. Hello Lloydie. Come and join the fun. We're spamming the chat as much as possible. We're doing a test because YouTube have said the more messages you get in one video or one live, the higher you get in the search. So everyone's spamming the chat for probably 10-15 minutes now just seeing oh, yeah. what's going on they've got a pair of boots as well now so I hope you'll get your more money and right. I'm going to test it yeah that's true you better go anywhere you want now yeah no more muddy trains you can't like, take it big time. I mean you can go in the water like I do a pot of iron in there oh <laughs> god yeah true there's certain places I think oh my god I've got the trains I can't pull cross so yeah I'm, exactly I'm what I don't get, yeah, my boots come to there, yeah. Yeah. But I can go in the water to there and they don't fill up with water. <laughs> that makes sense, that. <laughs> they must, like, lock my bottoms to my legs or something and don't let it over them. What?
Up to you, up to you. Watch out to splash some pepper. Fishing the dot, how you doing? We're spamming the chat as much as possible. We're doing a test. I'll pack up that. I'll YouTube have said the more messages you get in a live or a video or etc., the higher you get up in the searches. So we're just testing it on this video. So put in whatever you like. You can write anything you want. Don't swear or nothing, obviously, but do A, B, C, one, two, three, anything you like, any pictures, anything you want. One letter at a time, one picture at a time, and just spam a chat as much as possible. And you put your video at graph eight. Andy Tigger, have you set up your video for six o'clock? Is there any way you can adjust it for about half eight? So we can all come in on a premiere and watch it together. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah. See if I can go out the ad or not. No. Light will be there. I don't want to see his bring many anyway. I've seen enough of them yesterday. <laughs> I don't want to see them again. That was good, he had two in a row, didn't he? That was yeah. good. I thought they were going to really come on. Well, you hooked no. one though, didn't you? Yeah. No. I didn't even actually have one on. I'll be beaten by that I'm sure I'm green, but I'll just like doing this and just with fish and I don't care about that. Well at least I have two fish and not two boots this time. <laughs> Last weekend I think it was if you caught boots twice, yeah. Yeah, darling, I'm gonna get the four past seven train because I'm gonna rush that pack up now. Um Exploring lifestyle you can do it as long as you like, same as everyone else. The more messages, the better, to be honest. We want to be getting to sort of like 5,000 messages if possible. I know that's a big ask. Most of my videos average between 1,200 and 1,500 messages, normal ones, you know, proper messages. But my big lives and stuff normally get over 3,000 to 4,000. And I've had even higher ones than that on the sea fishing ones. It's an eight foot bait caster one, mate. Yeah, that sounds good. So I'll have to contact you and you can show me some more details or you can send me a couple of photos or an item number so I can look at it properly. I want just another one, then I've had some more. You carry on chatting. I am chatting away, yeah. yeah that's what I mean. Trying it's to. Like, yeah. Trying to. <laughs> well, you spam, you that's gone mental. <laughs> can, your when I see a message, I grab it and hold it back. <laughs> so I can read it. Mr. and Mrs. and Mrs. Swan have come in to see us. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to be nice. Here you go. Quick then, Mr. Swan. Quicker than that and you'll get a bit. That's it. Well done. We're feeding the old swan. Be nice to the swan. There you go. Quick. That's it. Yeah, and he treated me. <laughs> oh, there was that the swan or was that a boy? Ah, oh, it's Mr. Swan. <laughs> Get off your legs. No, come on, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you getting chilly? Got the cool under it. Where's your float? I can't even see it. I was out there somewhere. I watched the line somehow, but then if I see what? the line down. Out there? Out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that way. Oh, I'm no good, is it? No. I was going to try and get one. I see you keep putting the hemp there. That's right, now I asked Eddie if she, you know, um, her and Jack's alright, I do care, but. Can't believe you're still going, everyone. 
pretty impressive. <laughs> Wish I could see how many messages we're on, but I can't tell till the end. <laughs> That's who I thought that was behind us today. Who's that? Your cousin Tracy or whatever. No, she, no, 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 she, that was. No, I was just going to pick my daughter. Yeah. You were having a bite then? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know, I don't want to put people in the house that. That's what she said, I'm Donna. Yeah, it's well done. What the hell is this? Come on, it's someone you do first. Actually, at first I thought that was this, this water side turned that way. That's not the way she sort of went. Oh, I thought that one's not you. No, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Damn, I can't surprise you in co ops as much now. It's insane. Oh. <laughs> It's nice when people come to meet you, though, isn't it? Yeah. When you've been chatting to them and that. I can't believe my chat's still going. <laughs> They're all going for it. Oh. Malk, don't worry, we're, we're just having a bit of a test on the channel. We're just typing in whatever you want to type in. ABC, one, two, three, letters, numbers, anything you want. We're going to see if that pushes up the video in the search. So join in if you feel like it. Just type anything you like. Hello again, Tasha. <laughs> you come to join in again. Oh, I'm having to get all my own bots here. What's going on, moderators? Sack them all. I've got the last three of them now, all myself. <laughs> sack them all. Look, terrible look. Disgraceful behaviour. <laughs> Good job I'm watching. Yeah. Just lost a fish behind that poop. Don't worry, Nicola, we're doing a test. <laughs> I have to keep telling everyone, but. Spam the chat as much as you can. Just put as many messages in as you can. Oh, it was you. Oh, was that you? Oh, I thought I had a bite. Oh, no, I've really got... Oh, no, it's wrong again. <laughs> oh. oh, what are you done? Put your light on so you can see what you're doing. That's what it's for. Yeah, it's a bit mad, Nicola, but don't worry, just... Put in anything you like, just spam it as much as you can. We're trying to get to sort of like 5,000 messages. <laughs> Don't have to be full words, or you could just put one, two, three, whatever, as many messages as possible. can't believe I've still got 28 people in here doing this. The people on the outside must be thinking, what on earth is going on in that channel? But hopefully the algorithm on YouTube is thinking, oh, that channel's good. He's getting loads of messages. I might have started something here, though, because if this works out to be a really good video now and go right up in the search, everyone's going to want this. <laughs> <laughs> That's so twisted, it's a bad thing, you know? Yeah, it's a bit of a I can't understand that you're still getting bites on the float, but I can't, I'll you that. I 
it must be because you're drifting through and they're following, you know, chasing it down. While you're there for a second, we're going to cast over there and just see what happens. Just for like well, one minute. Well, you might have fish. Just for like one minute. Just let me see if I get a bite. It'll be a while more than a minute, trust me. Why don't you turn your light up full so you can see what you're doing? Oh, I can see anyway, I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. I can feel the line. I know where it is. Are you enjoying yourselves in there, everyone? Are you, is that fun putting all that stuff in? I reckon this video is probably going to get a review by YouTube. <laughs> That'll get flagged, I reckon. But that's not a problem. It's nothing to worry about. Anyone who's trying to write a message that must come up after about 10 different things of spam. <laughs> yeah, no rude words, exactly. No bad language, but anything else you like. <laughs> Oh, nice one, Andy. Andy's revised his video for nine o'clock tonight for everyone. Good boy. That's pa perfect. Past your bedtime. <laughs> now I can watch it with you and Stephen can watch it with you and that. Everyone can join in. I will watch that thing. Yeah. Frag that is great. Oh my God, anything anymore. Keeps telling you too many messages, take a break. Okay. Didn't know that. Didn't even know you could get a message like that. Oh, take a break. I was telling people to take a break because there's too many messages. I'm a Kit Kat. Yeah. Maybe that's just the mods can only keep doing that. I have a mini egg. <laughs> you having fun, Roger? Glad you're having fun. Oh, we had a bite then. I felt that. I've got the rod in my hands. I'm watching the chat and holding the rod. And I had a sharp take then, which is probably a rurich. Oh. Oh, that? You done or? Well, not really, because I've got not a yet. Nice, I feel I've got a eye now. No, not yet. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, everyone. Uh, there. I've got a lot of line came Tangled out. Tangled us all out. <laughs> and um, in the reel, I soaked it twice a day. I might have had it for a long time, so I knew something was going to happen today on the Sunday. <laughs> I bet you're glad we come, aren't you? Yeah. Especially with that big roach. Like, no one was there. Good that was. Oh, the light did start the fire. Oh, careful. Yeah. You get where I was hiding it together for the night? Just go past. Yeah. Cheers, Lloydie, and writing crap. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> They're just spamming, but you're at crap.
<laughs> you all look like you're having good fun in there. Pam's trying to write a normal message, look. <laughs> Baby Ruth, yeah. I remember that one. At the Goonies. Fingertips, you got that one right. My fingertips are cold. And my toes. Kit Kat would be nice. <laughs> oh, 70 thumbs up, everyone. Come on. We need two more, and that'll beat my best on a freshwater one. No, you're right. Well, I'll be finished before you, so I can make that one. For some reason, I do I get two. Yeah? Otherwise, if I do it, you'll end up with something. You get up, get Nice. Not one. I saw it on PC, and that's something I've got on my phone. Miss Piggy Roger. <laughs> Kermit. You're definitely going for it now, aren't you? Everyone. I'm reading all the things going through. <laughs> Rapala. Big Bird. <laughs> Sesame Street. Cottage pie, your dinner. Yeah, I can't wait for some dinner. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Romper Room, Andy Digger. <laughs> Donna said you got to choose your words better. <laughs> Donna said you got to choose your words better. Hang on, let me bring it in before you cast out. I'm under the bridge. Donna did? Yeah. What were I saying now? Lift up a minute. I don't want, yeah, I don't want to come over the top of your thingy. What you saying? What have I said that? I don't know, you said that in a minute ago, didn't you? You didn't mean to. Uh, don't come out and I'll sort it out. I think she's home now. <laughs> no, I've been up seen her twice. Oh. Miss Perfect. Oh, uh, oh we're poaching Stephen Swim a bit now. <laughs> He's drifting down the thingy there, whereas I'm static in the middle. Sounds good to me. About right in it. Can't believe you're still going, everyone. Appreciate this. <laughs> You've probably been doing it about 20 minutes. The YouTube algorithm for this one's going to be thinking, wow, <laughs> what is going on on there? Oh, you cast over me. Now yeah, you're on the bottom, and I say. Oh. <laughs> Who's getting sore fingers then? Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> G 
Cheers, Mick. Yeah, it's pretty cold. My toes hurt and my fingers hurt, but otherwise, what a lovely setting to be sitting in. That's the thing. Got that across there. All lit up, lights. It's quite a nice place to sit. Thing to say she looked fit. <laughs> I like to say she looked fit, but what? She's going to kill me when I go. No, as in healthy fit. Oh, right. That's what I was just saying. Jeez. I'd had Donna's husband out of the nest. I know, yeah, Donna looked fit. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying that Tracy is more different. Well, no, she's got yeah. shit, well, red hair. I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> I look completely different. You start to look like some catharsis. Um, oh, laugh lot. Yeah, it's all been nasty. I'm just saying, you, you're you slimmer, with black hair, one because of trace is completely different. Now, I've been no big. Well, yes. I didn't say you're big. I didn't, you know. Like I said, if someone at Cool Wop, I thought it was you, which I hid the first I've seen in person. I thought that was you, that's why I said that. Anyway, I'm going to get <laughs> but now seriously, I just thought that the person I saw in court was you, I was everywhere I seen her. But now with Cousin Tracy, if you went to Sainsbury's and you went to the end till then, it's not certain as well, see. Hi, Lena. Don't worry, we're having a good old spam chat at the moment. That's all being done on purpose. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Feel free to type in anything you like, literally anything you like, and just spam the chat. We're doing a test on seeing what it does for the video on YouTube or for the live. Because I've been told a few things. So everyone's joining in and having a bit of fun. People are coming in and go, oh, what the? <laughs> really, Mick? <laughs> Hey, come here, don't come in the chat then. Hey, come here, don't come in the chat, Donna. Because he spoke to us today. Mm. You need to get an account and come in as well. You ain't got one. Let's say watch together, I don't know. Yeah. I said something that person I was thinking of. Oh, I can't concentrate now. That's what I cannot believe that my chat is still going. That's <laughs> unreal. It's flying through. I must admit, I'm getting cold now, though. Can't wait to see how many messages we've got, everyone, <laughs> when that goes off. Not trying to get rid of anything, but I just want to know how many we've got to. <laughs> I think I'm going to fish till about half past six, and then I'll be packing up, I think. It's getting pretty cold now, and I ain't really getting any bites, to be honest. Well, I can't, every time I'm trying, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, he says when you get a bite and I've got a fish, what the hell? How weird was that? <laughs> me saying, it's only, oh what? That was only a little perch down in front of me, but that was a fish and I lost it right in front of me. 
What? <laughs> I think I want a boat. <laughs> oh no. I got it. <laughs> no. No good, is it? He chatted to me today. No. Not like someone else who's on there 24-7 when she's at home. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Donald. Yeah. She come on and say hello there. She's getting braver all the time. Oh, I still got that live from Big. He said I put a salsa that is on there. What's that? I said I put a delete that that is. Yeah, that just took a little wider upload, didn't it? So yeah, it is on there. <laughs> so anyone want to look at Miss Drew's water side? Go on to the one from the said, don't just see it right there at the end. Getting a bit dodgy, you putting pictures of my missus up on your turn. <laughs> oh, my God, is she coming front of mine? Is she going in front of mine, not yours? Yeah, she did, yeah. Uh, You're right. That's what you said to me. Oh. Cold, isn't it? <laughs> I won't mind if we were still catching big rod and stuff, but. Yeah, easy. And now I've got a Sunday dinner and I watch the feel like I can wake up. That's why everyone's got to leave my bike in the um pulpit for an hour so I've got to get some soda to work by. I've got to go to the It's annoying that I don't fish behind there because they look lovely behind there. Mm. Especially that bit opposite that park or whatever. Mm. Well, I could be behind there and have a few good looks if I've got to leave it in there for now and to stand and have my boots on so I don't get them up. Just make sure I do the window for this one. What about across the road where that all that water go through? Oh. Can you fish just down past there? I go fish. No, but can you though? Oh, yeah. Is it, is it worth it? Oh, what, New Mills Yard? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, what's that? Not really, well, in the summer we're not flat, and the weeds are flat. Oh, is it? Um, in the coast season, you see all the big creams sitting there, when they're freezing, and they're breaking through. Oh, what? Yeah, little bit. Some people sit there feeding. Yeah, right. nice. That'd be a good video. It'd be an awesome video. <laughs> Anyway, by the way, everyone, if I chuck my scarf in in time, I do not buy a new one, still there. Like one I got from the charity shop. <laughs> Nice one, Richard. You got your PC sorted over. You still spamming away. <laughs> Yeah, my toes are cold. I'll just before I put them on, I'll probably think it's been alright. Yeah. I know, so I know today, I just I think that's a good box. You'd have to get a fur in as for Oh, no, I missed that one. Oh, I went down the corner there. I played for two
No, no. <laughs> battle of the mods. Yeah, that's a good name, Andy. It's a battle of the mods to see who can keep going with the spamming, see who's finished last. See who can keep going before we turn off then. <laughs> That'd be impressive. No problem, Roger. <laughs> Go and have your tea. You're you got to stay there and do that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to try, haven't I? No more chance happening. Yeah, hey, would you? You go bingo, do you? Yeah. Any good? No. You won any? Or? No. Do your missus go with you? Oh, another bot, everyone. Okay, um, oh, Martin got that one. Well done, Martin. I was trying to get it. I thought you'd done stuff. I spoke with where I go. Yeah. Uh, I went with my daughter the other week. Um, I said, well, go on. My cousin's got a friend who thinks a lot of me. This old lady. And I went to surprise her down there. She won. My uh, cousin's friend won. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Bite Nick. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So we've got just under 10 minutes, everyone. And then we're going to start packing down and have a look at Stephen's fish. Yeah, at least I've got something to show you. And then we'll be on our way out to the car. I've had some nice fish. I'm well happy oh, no, with today. Yeah, you've got the net to prove. Nah, shame, isn't it? But, uh, you know, you're packing up. Where's your, where's your net? You yeah, I mean? but they've seen them. <laughs> shame I lost that big one, though. Oh. How many times I've done that here now? It's really annoying. Seventy-one thumbs up, but we need one more. If you want that, like, equal the best on the freshwater stuff. 
think we're about 164 on the sea fishing. Oh, my battery pack's telling me that's ran out. She's probably about right, it's been a while. Yep, it's gone to zero. Let me go and get another one. How many messages? Oh, hey, where's your tummy? Oh yeah, rock sat. Oh yeah. What made me do that? Uh, let's just say clay bike 158. Oh, you Abbey might have to go into your PC and do it. Uh, Thinking about it. I need your thumbs up, I've got 71. <laughs> Live at Roxham. Hey, go. That's it, well done. <laughs> Start picking on me now. <laughs> you need to write a bit more than that, though, when you write that. You need to write, like, Live at Roxham, Catch and Roach and Rod or something like that. Because people look for the searches, don't they? Uh, well, or you yeah. could write, like, things like I write, like, fishing with subscriber, Mr. Waterside or whatever you want, yeah. Like I do. There you go, I don't know. Yep, 72 everyone, we need one more. Come on, we can get a PB. On the fresh water side of things. Yep. Yep, 73, we've done it everyone. Yeah! They're all putting 73. Well, you're <laughs> yeah, it's probably got that little while to catch up, doesn't it? Mm. Appreciate that, everyone. I can't believe you're still spamming the channel. <laughs> it's literally been half an hour now. Just putting a few bits and pieces away in the background just so I've been done oh, okay. just put me bait away and stuff. I've got the fun bit of carrying all back to the car again now. Well, um, bit, uh, uh Tracy, stop drinking your old boozer. <laughs> you know. What haven't you got I've got to say it's quite stop boozing me. <laughs> really? Oh, she went to say she's dead. <laughs> UK, Jack and Jay, I do care. Wish you'd done that. 74, everyone. Come on, we've got to get that 75 now, really, haven't we? That'll be a nice record for the channel, and I appreciate that, everybody. Awesome. Michael Overy, that's your birthday. Oh, hello, Michael, how you doing? We're spamming the chat at the moment. We're doing a test on the videos to see if us. Boost uh, channels in the search and stuff when you get loads and loads of messages. I've got 78 people now, subscribers. So, nice. I told you I sent a few over. That was 72, it's Yeah, that's it's good, good, isn't it? One. Everyone whack in happy birthday to Michael. Please. <laughs> well, I, things, Yo, I must have sent four over. <laughs> that come in my chat. <laughs> it's my fish and blobs subscribe. Yeah, that's it. Uh, awesome fish and 
Yep, yeah, he was in. Was Walk with me, Richard. Sometimes that come up tomorrow, don't it? Take like 24 hours. You probably wake up in the morning with over 80. I think I'm on about 15.08 now, but that's got a bit stuck lately. That's froze a little bit. Let me know when you're on there, Dad, because I'll be able to fish. Well, not yet, but let me know, please. Nice one, everyone. <laughs> Got about a million happy birthdays So at 6 30, everyone, so we're going to start packing down. Why don't you just slide that in your rod case instead of taking that apart every time? I used to. Not what I even I do with this one even. The more times they get unscrewed and stuff, the more times they tend to break. I was just getting that cable around. Oh. Nah, it's not going to fit my rod holes, that in. That's too big. I've got to be careful, that's glass. That's glass. glass? Plastic, isn't it? <laughs> What's that, man? One million, 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 million whatever. -ins. You still going everyone? <laughs> Doing the whole alphabet now, are you? What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up Stephen's net in a little while and we'll have a look at what he's got in there. 
I'm going to do a quick trip to the car with half my stuff so I don't have to carry it all in one go. Because that's too much of a pain. It hurts my arm. We'll have to have it on one side just to carry the camera. Give me a minute, I'm just going to do one walk back to the car yeah. with a chair and stuff. And I'll come back and film that. Huh? What's up with Alan now, Tracy?
Oh, you put your ball down over. Ray. I haven't done that just yet. What? <laughs> I weighed them. 13 pounds. Right. Well, what, what did that roach weigh on its own then? Eight? Did you weigh that roach on its own? No, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Are you still spamming the chat, everyone? <laughs> I'm just going to pull my rod in and we're going to weigh up with Stephen. So I've got this, that's what I was doing, it's just getting ready while well, you've got and I've got all this, um... I have a roof or something there. <laughs> Plastic roofing. Going down the bottom of the thing, oh no, don't do that. Well, that was good everyone, we got a little fish to finish with. There is a little one, but... <laughs> Not a better end than getting a fish, is there? He'll give me my hook back. <laughs> there you go. I lost a plot, have I, Martin? <laughs> Would you know that? Our friend didn't know what's going on, do we? <laughs> We're spamming friend as much as possible. Get as many messages as we can. There you oh, go. You what's going on, then. <laughs> There's a little fishy to end the session. <laughs> Andy said he's just got you to 80 subscribers. Have a look. Oh. He's done all his channels, probably, hasn't he? <laughs> You still spamming everyone? Are you having fun in there? <laughs> cheers yeah. for cheers for that. Let's see what Stephen's got in the net, shall we? Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Seventy-four thumbs up. Can we not get just that one more, everyone? Seventy-five is what we need. Right, ready. Oh. I ain't got my headlamp, but I, uh, I can take the phone out actually and turn it around. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hold you, everyone, and I'm going to turn this round because I've got light on here, you see. And we can go, wee like that, and we get loads of light. Look at that, look. Where are you off, Martin? No, Mick. Cheers for coming in, Mick. It's all my minnows. Nice Look at that lot, everyone. That's a nice net of fish for a day, isn't it? Wish I had all my rod to get in there to go with them as well. Lovely catch of fish, isn't it? There's only a couple of small ones in there. They're all big, like. Yeah, they're a lot. It's not a bad day's fishing, is it? Or well, say afternoon's fishing, really. Because this, yeah. this is probably from 12 till... Yeah, it was hate, wasn't it? 12 till Great. 5, something like that. Yeah. Probably not there all day. Sucks. <laughs> yeah, lovely job. Well done. Andy's saying well done. Uh, 
Oh, Don, Don, Donna Stanley cheated. Oh. <laughs> Charming. We get all thumbs up and all sorts of stuff. Oh, Cheers, did. David. Yeah, some lovely rudding stuff in there, isn't there? Cool. Martin's saying about 80 fish, do you reckon? Oh, oh. It's a fair food there, isn't there? Yeah, it's a good food fish, yeah. I must have had 30. Yeah, we can actually see them properly here if we're lucky for a sec. Lovely jubbly. Them rudder so nice, isn't they? Them red fins and that. One. Pam saying nice bag. <laughs> Uh, nitro carp, there's loads of big pike around there. You see them all day long smashing out, out the top of the water taking fish. And just around the corner from me, like I said there was earlier on, there's a 33 pounder caught. But there's been some 20s, there's been some teens. But there's plenty down here. They're quite hard to catch though because they've got so much live bait to eat. Cheers, Jay. Yeah, we've done really well. None of my fish are actually in the net. These are all Stevens. <laughs> we had another probably, I don't know, 35 fish on top of that. 33, That's what I should have done, really. I should put my rod in the net, shouldn't I? Oh, look at that roach. It's unreal. It's lovely. I haven't seen one chunky roach like that for a while. Look at that roach, isn't that big? <laughs> 39. Nice one. But when you're catching big ones, numbers don't really matter. Do mm. They're all good quality today. Now yeah, I'm just helping Stephen get a few photos here. Oh, that's the biggest roach, isn't it? If you, um, oh, go on. <laughs> Help. for a pound that one. 1.3 but that's about just over a pound. Oh right yeah. 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 Roach is over a pound so that's good isn't it? Look at that. Lovely roach. <laughs> awesome. Andy Tigger saying awesome fishing well done. Right. And well done to me. Yeah, we done well. We found them right today, didn't we? And, and a few roach mixed in. Well, I don't think they're as big as the ones we had before, but they're still nice fish when you get that many of them, aren't they? It's in there, really. Uh, it's just over 1.2. Yeah, 1.2 pound. For the rod, it's nice going, isn't it? It's a lovely rod. As yeah, so you can see, they're all just swimming straight back down, not bothered whatsoever. And one more to go. Quite the same, actually. Well, what? Exactly the same. Too. Hey, where's that? <laughs> and another one in the quarter as well. So two one and a quarters. I think I had a few around the same size. So I would say that was a hell of a session between the two of us. <laughs> If you work out between the two of us and watch the video, we had 50 plus rud. Oh, that's 0.4 inches, so just yeah. slightly under a pound, possibly about a pound. Yeah. Um, the roots was about slightly, just, yeah. just slightly under. About They're all on the pound mark, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, about the pound mark. Yeah. yeah. So I just, like, just check that first. So that wasn't a bad day fishing, was it? We had over 50 rud between the two of us. And quite a few of them were around a pound. <laughs> 
And then I lost that big one in front of the net. Stephen lost a couple of big ones on the way in as well. That ain't going to be long till we show you that two and a half pounder, I'll tell you. We've had them on. We just didn't add them in the net. A couple of, couple of sessions back, we had a couple on the bank. Down between the boats further down, didn't we? But Yeah, cheers, David. That's, that's not bad at all for the winter, is it? That's awesome, isn't it? All right, so I'm going to get you back in the stand. I'm going to get me rod and stuff ready so I can pick it up. Ooh. Oh, the spamming stopped. Who stopped last? I didn't see. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. You've all done a really good job. Hopefully we've got loads and loads of messages there. Appreciate everyone coming in and staying in, in and out all day. It's been really good to me and Stephen. Like I say, you've seen we've had a really good catch. And what we plan to do now is we're both going to get home, have a nice hot drink and some dinner. And then we're going to sit back and watch Andy Tigger Fishing's video. So if you didn't send that anyone or if you want to see it, pop over to his channel, Andy Tigger Fishing. And we can all have a chat in the premiere later on tonight. Who's on live next? I was, I was just telling you who was on live next. Who <laughs> <laughs> said that? Uh, new chap, David. Okay. I think I'll get confused. Then. Not me. I've had a break for a minute. <laughs> if you drop your link in there, Andy, or if someone can drop it in for you, um, everyone can come over and watch your premiere later on. We'll see everyone there at nine o'clock. So we're all oh, look at that 81 thumbs up yeah lovely well done everyone <laughs> well impressed with that that's definitely a record for our freshwater fishing i'm too sure to expect about 40 like thumbs up some i think i'll be at six o'clock in the morning until six at night yeah doing the 12 hour eh? oh what 30 pounds part them sounds good i've had uh well wayne's up no i'm for the rest of the week i can I can't do nothing tomorrow. I know I eat enough. I've got yeah. my bike. I'll sort my bike out and the rest tomorrow. Yeah. It's been two days in a row, haven't we? Yeah. But I'm sure we'll go out again next week, like you say. Alright, everyone, we're off back to the car. But you're quite welcome to stay on. I'll put you back up on the screen when we get to the car. And then I've got, got the short journey home. Oh. Without breaking my rod. <laughs> so appreciate everyone staying in. Still got over 32, pe 32 people in, which is awesome. Jesus. Oh. This is what rocks them look like in the dark. <laughs> you right? Yeah. Good thing about the walk, oh, my battery's getting low. I can plug you when we get to the car. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, that won't go off before we get to the car. If it does, <laughs> then I'll, uh, I'll have to end it there, but I'll do my best. <laughs> we'll walk it down to the car, and then Stephen's just got to go just up the road to the train station. Hello Diana, where you been all day? <laughs> ah, it's alright, you're fine. You can't always be in, like you say, you got had things to do. It's not a problem. We had loads of fish though. So you go back about 10 minutes and watch the end, you'll see a load of fish. And if you go back even further through the live, you'll see my fish. Oh. That's the good thing about walk back to the car and stuff, it warm you back up. Tracy, I've got such a rake on my fish time. <laughs> yeah, I'll set you a picture. That's the least of, actually, I don't think I've ever done that before. Some of these little pubs look nice. Here's Stephen, that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. What's that? Um, 
had an over double figure catch. A rod. Full amount of fish. Big amount of rod. That's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I never had. Yeah. Most of them rod were averaging just under a pound, three quarter and a pound, weren't they? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> People travel all over the country and places to get stuff like that, don't they? Yeah. Stephen's saying he's going to do it again on Tuesday. He's going to do six till six, do you reckon? 12 hour session. He's going to want two keep nets. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know how long I've been on today, but I was saying 502 minutes, whatever that is. Uh, you start about, I left rock, I think I started about half ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so wait for a bike, bus. So if no one's, or Six if anyone's in haven't subscribed to Stephen, go over and have a subscribe. He's now going to say bye because he's off to the train station. And I'm now jumping in there in the car. <laughs> Once I put me right away. I'm going to be paying for much of that. Oh. So if I do it now, I know what happens. Yep. The duck is coming. Um. Oh, that bloody fish. I've got to clear this out one day so I can get it all sorted. I need a jet washer. Inside. <laughs> Right, well, everyone, you going up on the screen? Because I was just going to go flat. <laughs> well, we're here. We'll awesome. say goodbye to Stephen. <laughs> Bye. And cheers for coming. <laughs> Whew, I'll get you in the screen. Start the car up. Oh. So Stephen's off to his train and we're off home. So I can keep you in for a little while if you like. I know a lot of people like to see this end bit. It's obviously dark. But you'll see a little bit. Whoa. So cheers everybody coming in. And hopefully you'll all pop over to Andy Tigger's video at 9 o'clock and we'll watch him catch his bream. Should be pretty cool. 
82 thumbs up. Absolutely awesome. Thanks, everyone. That's definitely the highest I've ever got in a freshwater video. The sea ones, I'm getting sort of 165-ish. So it's double that, but I'm not complaining. Definitely looking forward to getting home and having a nice hot drink and some dinner. <laughs> Lloydie. Yeah, you done really well there, Stephen. I don't think I was too far behind you. We just didn't have my net and stuff to weigh in with. They were in the car, I just didn't bring them out. But I know I definitely had some decent sized rod. Getting towards the one and a half pound mark. Not a bad fish, but I have had bigger in previous videos. I want that three pounder, that's what I want. <laughs> I've seen two two and a half pounders in the front of the net that have come off. Are you still about Tasha, are you? <laughs> Cheers for coming in. So I'd like to say thanks to all my mods, everyone who's blue, for looking after the channel all day while I've been catching the fish. to warm up a little bit everyone <laughs> see anything being out on these sessions when that's what two degrees there's your toes and your hands the suits and stuff to protect your body but just never do your toes and hands don't matter how much money you spend it's because you're not moving about whereas on the sea fish and you're up and down the beach all night that's keeping you warm you know I was basically set myself a challenge this morning to get in and catch rud. And I caught rud all day, apart from the last hour. So not bad, eh? I'm quite trusting myself about that. Can't really ask for any more. You all know how many messages we got once I know myself. <laughs> and hopefully this live is going to get a really big boost because of all your messages. So thanks for doing that for me. I want to test that out. Yep, Lloydy. <laughs> That's nice though, because all three of us go fishing and every now and again one of us catches you know, a nice fish. And that was Andy's turn the other day and he had two in a row, which was lovely. I had my pike the other day, I had two in a row in a couple of days. So I was really chuffed with them. And Stephen get his great bag that you saw just now, you know, between the three of us. Someone's always having a good catch. Oh, 
Well, we hit the 83 mark with the thumbs up, which is awesome. Shame we're going to push it a little bit more to the 100, but I'm not complaining. That's still a PB. And every PB counts, which is great. Still got 25 of you in, staying with me all the way back to Stolham. I appreciate that. We had a lot of people in most of the day. It's been in the, up in the 30s all day most of the time. So that's really great. The channel's building up nicely. No problem, Stephen. We had another good day, didn't we, mate? Yeah. Keep wiggling your toes and your boots and see if you can get moving a bit. I think that's going to be our next thing to have to buy is going to be the pocket warmers that you charge up. Need a set of four, really, two for each boot. Uh, one for each boot and one for each pocket and then I think we'll be set up for anything basically should be cool <laughs> Thatcher Yeah, and it was good that you bought a pair of boots, Stephen. You needed some. It's going to help you on whatever you do now. If you go for walks and stuff like that in the mud and all that, you can walk through water. They're ideal for sea fishing, so you can go down near the edge of it, get the soaking wet feet. Always good to have a pair of boots. I always have two pairs, I always have a black pair for sea fishing and a green pair for fresh water. Yeah, it's all sorted now, isn't it? As long as you can get on the train now. What are they, Louis? I've never heard of them. You being serious or? Send them socks and stuff on like eBay and stuff, electric socks and stuff. Is that what you mean? They're in us for boots. You got some of them? Are they good? Alright, so I ain't gonna make it too much further down the road. I'll do my best. I 
we can only get to a certain point now in the country down here and then bang the signal goes so I'll go a little bit further and I'm going to have to pull over nice one Stephen Get home and have a drink and have something to eat. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got far to go now. I'm sort of 10 minutes away from my house. So everyone, I'm going to have to stop here. So that was a totally unplanned session, but that was a session that went really well, so pretty good. So thanks everybody for coming in and joining in the fun during the day. Appreciate that. And all the people that popped in and out and stuff like that and just coming to say hello and seeing what's going on. We caught a few nice fish, which was good. That's what we went down there for, the big road, and we got lots of them. No problem, Richard. Appreciate you coming in. Glad you got your computer and everything sorted out. So thanks, everybody. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Tasha. Andy Tigger. And all the other people that come in and joined in the fun. I think we picked up quite a few new people as well today. So that was good. I'll go through and do my subscribing and stuff in a little while. Cheers, Lloydies. Thanks, Jay. So I'm going to sign off here because, like I say, if I drive any further down the road, that will just cut off. So I don't want to lose the live because sometimes they don't come back and we don't want that. But, yeah, like I say, I appreciate everyone coming in. And I need some food now because that's been a lot of hours. I've had a burger. That was it. <laughs> and that's kept me going all day. I had a hot chocolate. So I need some proper food now and keep yourself going so like i say thanks very much for everyone for coming in and i'll see you all in andy Tigger fishing on his um bream video at nine o'clock so not too long give me enough time to get in and get washed up and eat and then that'll be the end of it so thank you very much everyone and i'll see you all soon <laughs>